and welcome everybody to this week's episode of Omega Dawn, our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks campaign. Uh, we've been off over Christmas, but we're back. Uh, most people are here today, which is good. Um, we hope everybody had a nice holiday and a nice new year. Uh, when we left our intrepid crew last time, they had been engaged to spy upon a company doing some very strange stuff over in the Bellafon system. Having arrived in the Bellafon system under a pretext of uh, being uh, travellers passing through, uh, the leader of the scientific expedition at Bellafon uh, approached the group uh, with a problem that he has asked them to help uh, help solve. Uh, this, of course, is a perfect opportunity for the uh, original spying mission to occur while the, uh, the party uh, does uh, whatever they're supposed to be doing in terms of helping out the Bellafon crew. Um, apparently, um, there is a um, uh, extraction platform in the uh, atmosphere of um, uh, a large uh, gas, gas giant by the name of Venturi. Um, and apparently, some stuff's gone wrong on that, uh, on that platform. Um, uh, crew members have been lost. Um, and uh, the uh, leader of the expedition is rather uh, rather anxious to find out what's going on. Uh, obviously, uh, if you if people need full details, they should go back and look at last week's or last episode's uh, YouTube video, which is up on YouTube. The early the morning after you arrive, uh, you uh, uh, made the offer of employment here at Bellafon. Um, you're led down to uh, the, or led up, I should say, to the shuttle dock inside the small moon that um, you're descending, you're um, orbiting. Uh, there is only one shuttle um, in, the, uh, in the shuttle area, uh, the last shuttle. Uh, you're informed by one of the crew. Um, all your gear has already been, pardon me, stowed aboard, and it's just up to yourselves now. Um, the, uh, the leader of the expedition, whose name escapes me all of a sudden. Um, Captain Akiz, that's his name. Um, he, uh, he comes down to, uh, wish you all good luck, shakes all of your hands and, uh, and, um, says we'll be back in 70, 76 days. 30, 30 days. something. 30 something days, 36 days. I think it is. Uh, something like that. 32, 36, something like that. 32 sounds right. Yeah, something like that. Um, so uh, he bids you all, he bids you all uh, good luck, and you, uh, I'm assuming you head through the airlock into the shuttle, yes? 38. 38, yep. there you go. Um, the shuttle itself um, has uh, bench seating uh contoured bench seating i might add uh to uh well actually it's got couches it's got 10 couches um uh there's uh, obviously um some lockers where your equipment's been stowed and there's also a rack uh which looks like it takes some tanks uh that would be for the crude biochemical uh from the jetson platform which you're supposed to bring back some if, if you can find some um uh, there is no pilot seat per se. Um, the frontmost two couches um, uh, have, uh, there's a panel in front of them um, with two buttons on it. Uh, one button is labelled uh, Jetson. Uh, the other button is labelled Snowball. Snowball's the moon that um, you've been orbiting, you're on at the moment. Um, and there's a third button that's that's obviously been uh, jury rigged um, onto the panel, uh, labelled uh, emergency only, low orbit emergency only. So there are your three buttons. Um, there's a small panel of indicator lights. Uh, there's a radio. There's a radar screen, and there's two viewing ports. Unfortunately, you can't see anything out the viewing ports at the moment because a massive block of ice has been strapped to the nose of the shuttle 
um, you would know that this is uh, uh, forming a heat shield so that you can uh, approach the uh, planet Venturi without danger or too much danger. Um, what else can I tell you? What else would you like to know? That sounds about... It I can't think through. of anything. Okay. Well, um, at precisely 0500 hours by the small display on the, uh, on the shuttle panel, um, the, uh, the uh, shuttle um, backs its, uh, is, is backed its way out of, the, uh, of the, the, the bay, and I'm assuming someone's going to push one of the buttons. Yeah, no, push the one that takes us to the platform. Which button's that? Hey! Person, which one's the button to the platform? Go find one of the crew. Have them give us a once over if they haven't instructions. Well they basically have. This you know, um the the, the shuttle is fully fully automated. Um and um basically uh you set the destination by choosing by pushing one of the uh, the two or now three buttons on the front panel. Uh, the other thing to note, which I haven't yet, um, is that um, just as you were about to enter the airlock, one of the crew members came out uh, of the shuttle and basically said, um, basically indicated that he's just finished uploading the info pack to the shuttle's computer for you. Uh, it's got the most up-to-date information they have. Okay. Um, so the platform's known as Jetson. Uh, snowballs the moon you're orbiting, or oh, you're on at the moment, the one that's got the really long elongated um, orbit, which you should have got when I gave you the... Uh, oh, no, you didn't give me that, did I? That's right. Uh, oh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yes, that's, that, that's, basically, uh, that's basically it. So, if you want to get to the platform, the, the platform's name is Jetsum. Logically, you would push the Jetsum button. No? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, well, when someone does push the Jetson button, the uh, shuttle orientates itself and then uh, slowly uh, it starts to accelerate under 1G. Um, you assume towards the, the planet Venture. As I said, you can't see anything at the moment because um, the large block of ice on the nose of the shuttle is, is blocking the viewports. However, the radar screen is indicating that that's the way you're heading. Uh, down towards the planet Ventru. Now, for those who don't remember or who haven't read the system brief, Ventru is um, about three times the size of Jupiter, our Jupiter, uh, but of similar consistency. Strong winds, a lot of gas, um, things like that. Okay. So the shuttle, uh, as I said, accelerates uh, towards... Um, Ventru, Venturi, um, the trip looks like it's going to take about two hours. Uh, does anyone want to do anything during that two hour period? I mean, besides getting my uh, body bag? Yes, something besides that. Unfortunately, there's no steam bath available. Breathing bag, that's what I'm looking at. Just yeah, no, checking, yeah, just watching the, the ship, make sure it's on course from best I can tell, which yeah. isn't very good. No, it's not. Um, I'll tell you what, Cat, mm -hmm. on those grounds, do you want to give me an untrained astrogation roll? Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't even have a dice on there. Uh, astrogation, it's um, basically based on your... Basically, it's based on your logic from memory. Half your logic. Uh, equip, equip. Uh, from, I'll have to check that, of course. But that's okay. It's an, it's an ad hoc role anyway, so... I'll just roll logic, and you mm. can apply. Oof. 
Yeah, look, as far as you can tell, as far as you can tell, you're on track for Ventru. Nice. Um, okay. That's about all you can tell. Give Cerise a, th a thumbs up. A confident thumbs up or a, or a yeah, maybe thumbs up? A fairly confident thumbs up. I have no <laughs> reason to distrust what I just rolled. Oh, uh, dear. All right. Well, um, the trip is pretty much uneventful. However, about an hour and a half in um, to the trip, um, you, uh, you start to feel, all of you, uh, start to feel a strange prickling sensation. A bit like you get before a really bad thunderstorm. Got to make sure I'm strapped in. Make sure I'm grounded. Um, Cat, your hair's starting to stand on end. Nice. So is the, doc, so is the doc's beard, by the way. Good thing I bought that any shock implant. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, there's a, there's a, there's a, an obvious static electricity build up, um, which is normally okay, except um, all of a sudden um, the shuttles plunge into darkness, all the panel lights go out, and the radar screen goes blank. Nice. Yeah, well. You guys want to do anything? Well, uh, panic, for example. I'm guessing we're still moving. There's nothing. Yes, that, still moving. There's nothing that decelerated us automatically or anything. Not yet. Uh, but cool. I mean, if, if if you were to hit, if for example you were to hit Jetson, you'd probably decelerate pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, the the, the crashing is not the kind of deceleration that I want. Um, picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Uh, cool. Uh, Cat will have a look at the the computer and just see if there's any way to turn it on and off again and ask Cerise for help. Okay. Well, give me a give me a a a, a repair computer roll. And the answer is no. Yep. Anything technician wise or. Vote well, you... engineer-wise. Um... Well, you're just getting ready to start pulling panels off to start digging into the shuttle's innards to get to the computer and anything else when all of a sudden the lights come back on and the radar screen comes back up and the panel comes back alive again. Hmm. Still want to diagnose what happened. Uh, well, that would be a, a repair machinery role in that case, or a repair computer role, depending on exactly which what you're doing. Um, from what you can tell, Cerise, everything looks a okay. It just looks like a, some, it was some sort of power reset, as far as you can tell. No circuit breakers or anything like that? Well, if they, if they have, they've reset. Yeah, you check the computers, cat. I can't find anything. Anything else on the radar screen? I can't. No, nothing else. Nothing else than what you'd expect. And again, you seem to be on course still. Babu has a strong urge to just loiter around the web blocker. I don't know why. <laughs> You've been watching too much Doctor Who. Um, Kat, do you, do you want to check the computer out as suggested by your colleague or not? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what, I guess, uh, we'll look at, I'll in, uh, operate, operate, mm -hmm. be first. Okay, um, the, the computer is pretty well pegged uh, at, its, at its peak in terms of CPU and memory function. It seems to be using all its power, at the, all its 
cycles at the moment to keep the uh, shuttle on course and things like that. Um, so things are very, anything else is very, very sluggish. Um, you're not surprised at this. Um, it's it's that wouldn't yeah it's, it, that's, that would be pretty typical. I mean, keeping a keeping a shuttle in um, or keeping anything like that in four dimensional space um, it takes a lot of computing power, and you know shuttles don't have big computers. Mm -hmm. So um, so yeah, you're not you're not surprised that happens. But from what you can tell, um, again, everything seems to be all right at this stage. Um, obviously, once you get to where you're going and the, and the um, cycles are freed up, you might be able to get some more information out of it. But until then, it's it's probably not worth it. Cool. Um, so about 15 minutes or so, or 40, uh, an hour 45 into the trip, um, you hear some explosive bolts um, and the uh, heat shield iceberg on the nose of the shuttle is blown clear. Uh, you can now see out the viewports. Um, then through, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like Jupiter. It's it's um, a lot of a lot of roiling clouds. Um, you you're actually in the atmosphere by this stage, um, and um, there's a little bit of buffering. So obviously there's some wind outside. Um, uh, clouds and vapor and whatever else scut scutters by quite quickly. Um, if someone would like to give me an engineering role of some sort. Uh, uh, give hmm. me, give me, give me your logic, please, mate. Give me half your logic plus your engineering skill. Okay, so... Do, do, do. Actually, give me a hydraulics roll. It's actually a hydraulics roll. I'm just looking at your sheet. Yeah. You're not sure, but you reckon that... Oh, yeah, engineering too, Cat. Yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be Von. The, so, no, yeah, 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 that's right. Um, I forgot you had engineering, Cat. Sorry. Um, look, you, Cat, you're unsure, but um, in consultation with Vogue, between the two of you, you come up with you come up with a figure that, from what you can tell, based on what you can tell, um, the wind speed outside, not including your own movement would be somewhere around maybe a thousand kilometers an hour or more based on Tiny. what yeah you know, well the system timing. brief said two thousand kilometers an hour was like normal or like yeah. max Up or to. something max yeah so yeah um a few minutes after the isolates go um you a structure comes into view and you're pretty sure it'd be the jets and platform because let's face it nothing else looks Nothing else is um, supposed to be in the atmosphere. So, um, it's um, it's basically uh, how do you describe it? Um, it's a it looks like a large balloon, uh, hot air balloon, uh, with a spike uh, running through the centre of it. Um, that's probably the catalyst tower. Probably runs the entire length of the, from up the top of the balloon all the way through to the bottom. Um, it seems to be uh, not tethered um, in terms of uh, being able to drift with the atmosphere, but it appears to ma be maintaining a constant altitude from what you can tell. It's not bobbing up and down. It's uh, just just blowing back and forth as such. Um, the shuttle approaches quite quickly. Um, out the sides, out two sides of the balloon, um, you can see docking bays, two docking bays. Um, as you skirt by one, you can see a shuttle in one of the shuttle, in one of the docking bays. Um, and you also get a quick, a quick glimpse of there's some sort of internal um, structure in amongst the balloon. In fact, the balloon is not just one balloon, it's a half a dozen balloons, half a dozen cells. Um, and there's a structure in amongst the cells, which would be the platform proper is what you'd expect. There appears to be um, a hole in the side of this, this structure, some damage of some sort. Um, you can't tell, you, 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 flash, you, you go past it so quickly, you don't, you don't get a good enough look at it. But I mean, it could be an impact of some sort, or it could be 
Uh, it could be uh, the results of an internal explosion, possibly. You're not, you're not sure. You just know that there's definite damage there. And that, that particular area of the platform, if not the whole platform, would be exposed to the atmosphere. Um, now, you'll note that the atmosphere is not toxic, per se, but there's no oxygen in the atmosphere. So it's unbreathable. Okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, you swing, the, the shuttle swings around, uh, decelerates quite quickly, and ends up in uh, this, uh, this shuttle bay, which I'm about to share, share with you. That one. Uh, and the shuttle automates itself um, in and actually noses the shuttle's nose, which has an airlock in, in it, um, uh, an air hatch in it, I should say, uh, nuzzles up against the, the end of the hatch there um, and forms a tight seal. So the bit that you can see is open to the atmosphere, but the shuttle is uh, sealed against that um, hatchway that you can see there. So if, if you want me to draw it, the shuttle would be badly like that, okay? Yeah. You know? Give you an idea. That, that's what I expected our ship to look like. Yep. <laughs> yeah, probably. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. Okay. Um, but we did so, see that the hull of the uh, platform had been breached. Well, yeah, but I mean, from what you remember of what the captain told you, the the platform is modular, so it might only be that one module that's been breached. Okay. Um, obviously, you're still in your you're still in your seats at the moment. Um, so I don't know what you want to do. Whether you want to get your equipment and head out, or check the computer, or I don't know what you want to do. Check the computer. Uh, well, that would be and an operation. We'll start stacking equipment for people that he knows they're going to want to take with them. And yep, of course, okay. get suited up. Uh, yeah. Okay. There you go. That's 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 the information you get out of the you get out of the um, the shuttle. The other uh, the shuttle computer. What you also notice is there's a hell of a lot of corrupt files in there as well. Oh, uh, so it looks that. like yeah. Sorry, it looks like the uh, yeah. It looks like the um, it looks like that power fits whatever it was half an hour ago, or so um, has has corrupted a lot of files. So this is what you get. This is what you managed to get out of it so far. Those, those headings. And if, just let me know. I don't think you'll be able to open up each one because I haven't shared them with you yet. But no. When you do, just let me know what you want, and I'll open up and share it with you. Uh, I think I would be after the shuttle flight plan just to see whether that was like normal atmospheric interference that we'd be expecting. And passwords. We need that. I, I mean, <laughs> unless you want us to be breaking into every single door. I just know this game and expect all the passwords to be corrupt. Uh... <laughs> we're doing a rescue. You might want to know who the teams are we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I no, think we're going to want uh, all of it. So, so, yeah, looking at that shuttle flight plan, it kind of looks like we went through a massive electromagnetic field that just messed everything up. Like given that's that we certainly that's certainly a logical a logical conclusion. Yeah. Uh, cool. Someone could have told us that that was going to happen. The dickheads. Um, well, they probably they probably didn't know. Uh, I'll have a look at the. Um, let's just look at the passwords. See what's there. That's the password file. Uh, cool. Uh, will we have access to that? Uh, well, no, we don't have to remember. You you would yeah. download that to your to your um uh, I would, body comp I'd, or whatever. I would definitely put it in my file comp. I'm just making yeah, sure file comp. I don't have to make a note of that outside yeah. of this note. No, 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 no. I'll leave, them, I'll leave the file shared with you. Now that you've said you're going to load in your file comp, you can, it's, it's on your person. Unless you yeah. lose your file comp for some reason. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll jump into computers. Uh, 
All right, cool. Yeah, that's that's really just a list. There's no uh, map of the. Uh... No, that's this is what the information you have. That's that's it. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, cool. Uh, let's look at robots. Oh, there's an error there. Which I've now fixed. <laughs> Uh-huh. So there's, yep, okay. Safe Warden's interesting. Those yep. will probably have a restrain program built into them. Uh, certainly a, certainly a, a logical conclusion. Uh, what else do you need, Matt? Cool, cool. Uh, let's look at the robot CRL1E. Oops. Here we go. Now that's the robot in the shuttle, by the way. That you remember, you remember that was being sent with you. I did mention, yeah. I, I didn't mention it this time. I mentioned, to, I mentioned it to you last time we played. Cool. So, uh, so that, have, that, that, sorry, go on. Does it have any weapons equipped? It's basically what you see there. Okay, so it has no equipment on it. Only its arms. Right. It's a maintenance. It's a maintenance bot. Modified maintenance bot, but only a maintenance bot. Cool. Uh, well, I'll pass that it's information on the series. Bots, haven't we? Hey. What was that? So we have seen modified maintenance bots before. Yeah. You have. You have. Uh, the interesting to note on that one is the date of last service has been corrupted. Nice. Again, hmm. I'm just saying, it's just pointing it out to you. Uh, uh, I, you want... I will point that out to Cerise and ask her that maybe she wants to do the check that she did on that sparring robot uh, before we take this robot with us and it goes ape shit. <laughs> um, uh, and then finally, let's look at teams. Uh, huh. Okay. So can I do that robot? Can I check that robot for? Yeah, sure. What are you looking for? Are you just doing general maintenance? You, no, no, I want to look for the corruption we found before on the, on the sparring robot. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a robot, mate. That's a, that's a repair robot role, mate. Um, yeah, look, no, um, the robot seems perfectly 100% A-OK. -okay. Well, yeah, once we get on to well, the... Well, 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 don't, don't forget, right, that that it was the file on the computer saying that the date of last maintenance was, you know, it wasn't the robot saying it was bad, it was the file on the computer. That piece of information had become corrupted. There's no, there's nothing to make you directly believe apart from your own paranoia that there's anything wrong with the robot, okay? Yeah. Yep. Just thought I'd point that out. Just thought I'd point that out. So, uh, anything else you want to do? Now you've checked out the bot and checked out the computer and, yeah. Uh, what's a safe warden? SW-6 robot. Sorry, I'll say, what about it? What is it? Oh, you we you weren't here last session. Oh, oh sapes. Neither. sapes are the genetically modified apes that a kind of robot kind of Yeah, so they're smart ish. Ape. They can understand like commands, they're stronger, they're kind of basically just super strong they're labor. Yeah, this is, they're they're they're, an, they're a they're a prototype unit uh, developed by one of the corporations, Pangal, I think, um, to, uh, to as replacements for robots. They're all they as they said genetically modified uh, primates, um, super apes or sapes. Um, they are they they can understand basic simple simple commands um, and things like that. Um, so 
Um, yeah. Um, and for some reason, these guys don't trust them, even though they've never met one. I don't because know. we're still alive. Because <laughs> you're paranoid, but it is. Then why was the sparring bot yeah. corrupted? Well, like it, was a it was a paranoid. bot. It wasn't a sape, was it? I became paranoid ever since I joined this group. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What's a little par What's a little paranoia between friends? Hey, last time you called me paranoid for thinking there was off-world support for the KLC, the terrorists, and I was right. Yeah, but you're paranoid about everything, so sooner or later you're going to be right about something, aren't you? What about all the? What about all? Hey, the and Cerise so was right about on, the Sathar attack. What about all the times you were paranoid and wrong? You thought about those, haven't you? Now those don't happen. You see, we're always right. <laughs> all right. So, what are you guys doing? Um, you got any more questions, uh, Babs? Because you actually you weren't here last session, were you? Um, uh, well, um, so but, but while you guys have been looking looking after the robot and um, looking after Charlie and the um, uh, and and the computer, uh, Babu's been unpacking equipment and getting it laid out for people on the benches. So, um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, if Cerise has done enough programming of the robot that she can uh, give it commands, uh, then I think it's probably time to go and do a bit of scouting. Yeah, so we need suits, right? Because there's... Because um... I know there's a hole in it, but I, I don't. we don't know if it's loss of life support to the entire platform. Well, the indicator panel next to the hatch is reading um, reading a temperature of uh, minus 10 oxygen normal, radiation nil, and pressure normal on the other side of the hatch. Did they bring, did they give us suits? Space suits or? Nope. Okay. They said there'd be some available down on the platform. Cool, cool. Well, I mean, if the the uh, the shuttle reading says outside is cool, then I think outside's probably cool. We can jump in. Yep. Yep. All right. Sorry, just looking for something. That's right, it's after that. It's after that. There, no, it's after that. What? You that's freezing cold of... outside? That's right, I'm just saying. All right, so um, you, are you cycling are You cycling the shuttle hatch? Yeah. Well, um, the minute you cycle the, 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 the hatch, um, yeah, it's bloody freezing outside. It's below zero degrees. Um, in the in the corridor beyond, let me just put that corridor in beyond before you in for you. Below zero degrees in normal people temperature units or As America. I think it's Celsius. It's yeah. in Celsius, good, mate. Good, good. I can't draw very well with a mouse. Um, that's what you see. It's an airlock, basically. Uh, there is a hatch on the other side. Um, I'm I'm assuming you guys have got toxi red gauges on your wrists. Yes, and my yes. atmos cas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, well, as I said, apart from the temperature being cold, I mean, your breath fogs. It's cold, cold. Um, in fact, um, it's, it's cold enough that after a while, you're going you're gonna to start taking um, hypothermia damage. Um, a while being an hour or more at yeah. this stage. Uh, um, um, does my Atmos CAS, it reads the same as uh, what the door yeah, said? Yeah, uh, nil radiation, normal oxygen, normal pressure. Cool. Now, I said the only thing. The only thing is the temperature's set really low, um, yeah. which um, who knows why? Who knows why the crew would do that? Um, you know not, from the uh, wait, you know you know from the background brief, or it should be in the background brief, um, that the temperature of Ventru is minus a hundred. 
So obviously the life support's working because temp because the pressure is normal, the oxygen is normal. Um, but why would why the temperature would be set at minus ten? Who knows? The uh, do the shapes not like the cold or something? No, they have that kind of. No, they're supposedly about operating in, in regular, regular temperature. I mean, I, I dare say they'd be cold if it was at minus ten. But then again, they're shaggy, so um, you know they'd have some insulation. Hmm. Um, but they're not. They're not. They're not particularly. They're not. They're no more susceptible to cold than you guys are. Basically, think think primitive, uh, think primitive Cro-Magnons or primitive Neanderthals, in terms of physiology and you probably won't go too far wrong we're totally walking into planet of the fucking apes aren't we <laughs> no, yep. i'm trying to give you guys a, i'm trying to give you guys a reference a, a reference framework what i'm trying to do is give you a reference framework all right now listen in this um there's a couple of lockers in the, there's a couple of lockers in this um in this uh, airlock it's an obvious airlock by the way oh it's two meters i think it's two meters per square from memory i have to check that um but that sounds about right I'm gonna switch. Okay. I'm gonna constantly use my infrared visor. Sure. The minute uh, well, there's the moment there's a heat source, I'm gonna see it. Well, basically, the, your fellow companions are giving out giving out very bright signals to yeah. your to your IR for obvious reason. Um, there's a little bit of background heat, um, just general background heat from the from the platform from the electronics and that in the platform itself, but everything's below freezing. Um, yeah. Um, so I said there are some lockers in this. In this, um, um, we'll call. I mean, it's labelled A one, A four, A four, the for A four module A, shall we say? Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. Um. So there's some lockers there. If you yeah. You know. Well, there is a locker All there, right. I should say. Fabu's going to uh, equip his all-weather blanket and wrap it around himself. Okay. He don't like being cold, miserable. Yeah, <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't. I, I, I forgot to mention. Sorry about that. Um, right before you left, right, right before you opened the shuttle um, hatch, uh, the computer on the shuttle. Um, beeped at you, and a message came up on the screen. Uh, I should have told oh. you this earlier. Um, I don't oh, think yeah. it affected it. I don't think it would have affected anything. Um, but the uh, the actually, it's a light on the panel. Um, it's labelled uh, "Warning: Auto Refueling Malfunction," and the light is flashing. Oh, great! Nice. Uh, uh, something yeah, else. Cool. Something else to worry about in the next thirty-eight days, because if you can't refuel the shuttle, you're not getting off. Well, there was unless you use shuttle. the other shuttle, unless you use the yeah. other shuttle, of course. Yeah. Uh, is the uh, do we know anything about what kind of fuel that shuttle would use, and maybe it's too cold for that refueling process to happen? No, no. It's generally the it's generally um liquid oxygen and liquid oxygen liquid oxygen mix. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that, that's a bit colder than what the what the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it, it, the, 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 put it this way, I mean, the, the shuttle's got to operate, operate at close to 270, at, at 270, at zero degrees Kelvin, minus 273 centigrade, you know, deep space. So, it, the fuels are, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, so no, you, you don't think it's, you don't think it's the, the cold. So, yeah, so what are you going to do, guys? Apart oh. from wrap a space blanket around yourself, and all the blanket around yourself, I think we're gonna go forward. You don't want to check uh, out the locker? Yeah, I was gonna say we probably want to look in the locker because <laughs> that's where the breathing apparatus are gonna be. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> and we probably there was want a them here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll have a look in the locker. Okay, inside the locker um, are four um, silvery, silvery suits with bubble bubble helmets. Um, it's the same type of material that all weather blankets made out of, so they're probably some sort of cold suit or chill suit. Mm -hmm. um, there's one. Uh, it's, it's, there's one for each of the four standard races. So one for Dralocytes, one for humans, one for Yuzerians, and one for Brusk. Okay. Well, uh, uh, which Dralocytes going naked? <laughs> uh, uh, 
Baboot, no offense, but if you run into melee, your suit's more likely to get breached. Well, it's flexible enough that it's probably not going to, that probably won't be an issue. I might actually, um, my engineer kit might have, I think it does, but. Your engineering suit's got an, in, your engineering <laughs> kit's got an in suit in it, which is an anti radiation suit. Yeah, no, no, this, uh, what I was looking at is actually a little bit too big. All right. It's okay. plastiseal. It, it's a two by two, two meter yeah, sheet no, of airtight plastic. That, yeah, that, that's for sealing. That's for sealing breaches in holes. Like the one we're about to go to. Well, maybe. I mean, yeah, it, it, you're on the other side of the platform, more or less, from where that where you saw that breach. Yeah. So, um, there's also four breathing masks in the in the locker. Again, one for each uh, each of the four races. Uh, there are four power belt packs, and there are four oxygen tanks. Obviously, one for each mask. Hmm. Uh, looking at the silvery suits, um, there are uh, there's a, um, um, a, a small um, um, you know those um, button panels which are like got a, 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 a film of plastic across them. You see them on keyboards sometimes, like a waterproof type film. You know what I mean? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, there's um, um, there's four buttons in a, in a row on the chest of each of those. Uh, on each of those, uh, each of these um, silvery suits, um, labelled zero, one, two, and four. Hmm. Thank you, whoever took that. Um, so yeah. So what do you guys want to do? Zero, one, two, four. Okay. Yeah. And that's on every suit. That's on all four suits. Um, and also, uh, down near the belt, or belt line of the suit, uh, there's a power socket. Can we figure out what the buttons are for? I mean, any symbols, any instructions? No, but considering these suits are the same material as a space blanket, as I said, you'd, the, you, you suspect that they're chill suits. They're cold weather suits. And if there's a power socket, the buttons may indicate how much heating to use. For example. And it has a power plug, basically. It has a socket for a power pa for a power cable. Yes. A power input socket, not a power output socket. And that power input socket, it looks like the standard, like a yeah. belt pack, backpack type socket. They're all, they're, all, they're all standard sockets, mate. Yeah. Um, you, the only thing, you, you say a belt pack or a belt pack, you couldn't put a power clip in there because that is slightly different. Yeah. All right. Uh, can one of the, can the, uh, hmm. Do our, do our belt packs have an idea of uh, how much they're being drained? Uh, um, I'm, th I'm thinking maybe plug one readout. of these in. There's a, yeah. readout on, there's a readout on the system, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cat will put hers on, uh, plug her belt pack into it, and just put and it on the lowest setting and see what the power drawer is then. All right. Well, when you put when you put it on, um, before you even uh, power it up in inverted commas, um, you you feel quite comfortable at minus ten degrees. Okay. Ah, okay, yep. Um, so hitting button one or setting one, um, yep. yes, you do start to feel a little bit warm. Um, yep. Your rough back of the calculation, back of the envelope calculation. Hang on. Um, where are we? I can use my super calculator to do it. Yeah. Um, well, if you're super calculator, looking at it for a moment or two and things like that, you probably reckon setting one would probably hold you down to as low as maybe minus 50. Minus 50. Okay. Yep. Um, and would drain roughly one SEU an hour. Yep. 
at that rate. Okay. Mm -hmm. But at the minus 10 you are at the moment, um, the, the, just the, the natural insulation of the chill suit itself um, is going to hold you, at, hold you okay. Yeah, cool. Sweet. I will relay that information and uh, let people know that they probably don't need to turn it on, but plug it in just in case. <laughs> All right, so who's, getting, who's taking a chill suit, who's not? Because there's only four of them. Which well, means that one of the one of the humans and one of the drill sites is going to have to go begging. So it's Cat, Doc, and me and Babu that are only two of us get it. So mm -hmm. should we roll, or we'll fight. do we think it? We'll fight. <laughs> fight to the death. Ah, go ahead. Actually, that that may not be too far from the truth, by the way. Um, that's a good point, uh, given that the doc is the other human, Cat will take hers off and give it to the doc. Uh, okay. is there any way that she could, um, jury rig one of the all weather blankets with some stuff from her, uh, tag kit to, uh, kind oh, of make well, a, a warm poncho, as yeah, it were? Yeah, well, you certainly, you could certainly, you could certainly cut a hole in the, hole in the center of it to wear as a poncho over the top of you. It wouldn't be... As good as a chill suit, but it might it might hold it might hold you it might hold the temperature up a bit. Yeah, um, so that's, certainly... that's yeah, that's probably the best that she's going to be able to do. So, right, well, give us give us, a, give us a give us a give us a give us a um uh, repair machinery. It's effectively what it is. Roll to see how well it, how well you do it. I've got a laser welder. I can weld it to you. <laughs> you don't quite think that's going to work, mate. <laughs> Uh, about, are you going to do something similar, Bab? Will you turn yours into a poncho? I yeah, but I figured I have a ten sonic meters just, of uh, put a nice little slit in there for me. Yeah, I, I have ten meters of insulated wire. Is it possible yeah, that's, that's, to power no, that up no, no, and no. just have that? What you mean? You mean it's a heating coil? Yeah. You'd probably melt the insulation before you did anything else. Uh, oh well. Because it's 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 electrical insulated cable. What wire? It's not. Yeah. You, know. you want uninsulated wire if you're going to make a heater. Oh, okay. Then I got 25 meters of that. And you're likely to electrocute yourself if you if you wrap it around yourself too. Uh, yep. Pack it in between. Take two blankets. Put it in between. <laughs> No, I don't think that's feasible, mate. Seriously. I mean, you can try it if you want, but... We got an Cat... hour, guys. Let's give it a half hour before we figure out something else. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you, Cat, do you want to do a second roll for Babu's poncho? Oh, here. I'll do it. Since oh, someone do it. I, I'm the good engineer here. <laughs> Actually, I think more of a, I think more of a, uh, not so much engineering, mechanical, but uh, repair machinery is what I was looking for. You want civil engineering? No, I want re I want the technician skill repair me me repair machinery. And if that's the case, I'm gonna ask Cerise pretty please. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, do that. Thank you, me. Cerise. Thank you, Cerise. <laughs> All right, so. Cat's got a poncho, Babu's got a poncho, and the other four of you have got chill suits, yeah? Yep. Okay. I'm not wearing mine yet, though. Oh, you're not wearing yours yet. You're just carrying it. Who's yes. wearing theirs? Oh, by the way, it's uh, the material's thin enough. You can actually wear it. You can actually wear your chill suit underneath your um, your skin suit and regular clothing if you wanted. Oh, then I'll do that. Okay. I said it's, it's very lightweight. Um, you can feel, you can feel, you know, you know how an electric blanket, you can feel the wires in the electric blanket if you feel, if you go searching for them. Yep. Yeah, you, you feel the same type of thing in the chill suit. Okay. So, you're in. Airlock A1. You've either got chill suits on. I'm assuming everyone's got chill suits on and or ponchos over the top. Yes, yep. is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, the uh, 
panel beside the southern airlock, the one you haven't been through, reads temperature 25, pressure normal, oxygen standard, radiation nil. Cool. I guess we're cycling it. Okay. Just smash. Just smash. Uh, just, there we go. Right. Now, before anyone says or does anything, let me let me let me get this done first, right? Those of you with body comps, did any of you get the stop here program? Nope. Um, when the airlock no. when the when the airlock cycles and opens, the temperature immediately drops to minus fifty five. All right, and you can feel all the oxygen being diminished and whipped out, whipped out through the obvious hole in the corridor you see beyond. Um, um, as uh, the wind of Ventru whips through and and causes a not a vacuum, but causes you, um, the all the air to be drawn out through the holes. Okay. Um, you I would, I would have assumed, assumed that the, the 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 room with the hole in it would have been hotter. Close the door. Yep, close the door and, you know. All right. Well, by the time the door's closed, basically all the oxygen in the... Um, in the uh, in the area has... Uh, in, the, in the airlock A1 has um, has gone. You guys can... I mean, you can start to feel... It's becoming hard to breathe. What do you want to do? Open the door lock back to the shuttle. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, um, is, uh, nobody. Helmet on. Okay. Nobody takes any damage from oxygen loss. And because you were wearing the ponchos and the chill suits, um, you, nobody took any cold damage. Cool, cool. But it takes about it takes about ten minutes or so before the temperature comes back up to that minus ten. But obviously the air, obviously the life support is working because it does come back up to minus ten. Cool, cool. Well, I guess technician and engineers with masks, you're probably going in to fix that hole. Have fun. So. <laughs> Oh, by the way, um, area uh, A1 and the outer airlock were both lit, are uh, both well illuminated by lighting strips in the ceiling. Um, you did note with the, the brief time you had the airlock, the, the inner airlock opened, inner airlock door open, that the area beyond only had red emergency lighting. Ah. Uh, A2 on the map? A2 on the map, yeah. Okay. Um, when you get out, when you get out there, I'll give you more information if you go out there. So yeah, Volk, myself, and one or I don't I don't think Doc, but um, maybe somebody for security. So uh, our Jazz tech kits, here. we have. I think just or oh oops I thought I took jazz hang on jazz will go actually my engineer kit is the only thing that has um something that fits it you hope except the issue is is that there's a hole in both sides and it's not gonna do both no I know well let's go to the other end of the corridor a I think the plan the plan is the three of us will go to the other side of A to there might be something there. Okay. Maybe there's more suits and we can bring the suits back. But how do you propose walking through that with the winds blowing at a thousand miles an hour, a thousand kilometers an hour? Rope. Oh, it'll be dangerous. Yes, that's for certain. We're going to have to buckle in 
There's uh, no mag boots around. Sorry, there's no what? Mag boots? No. Damn. Sorry, no. Oh, guess who picked up 100 meters of micro line? Yeah, <laughs> uh, dear. yeah probably useful. My grappling gun would be useful here, but you yeah, know, I put that in storage. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, there should be something to anchor on the inside of the hatch. Well, well you won't be able to tell until you get out there, will you? Right. But I mean, yeah, when I... you look at each side of the, the pressure door should have a an eye bolt to attach to. Wait, didn't well, the... There is... Sorry, go on. Didn't the readout on the other one say that the oxygen was okay? On. Yep. Yeah the 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 panel on the panel on that door on the, yeah that door thank you. Um, it it, it reads temperature twenty five pressure normal oxygen standard radiation nil. Okay, so they're not working. Lies. Well, lies, damn lies, or statistics. Pressure's not normal. Oh, no, the pressure's normal. No, it's not. You got a big freaking hole in the thing. Yeah, but the pressure's normal. Normal for where? Normal for Earth. Earth normal. 1, one G. Well, okay. not 1 G. One, uh, 101 kilopascals or whatever, whatever the standard pressure is. Pressure's normal. Temperature's not. Oxygen's not. And the only reason the oxygen was sucked out was, was that when, I mean, you've, for those of you who remember their science classes, um, if you get a, a, a moving fluid past, a, past a, um, a hole, it tends to suck whatever's on the other side of the hole out with the moving fluid. Well, the fluid being the, at the atmosphere of Ventru is sucking, you know, diluting the oxygen in the air. And so it, it wasn't a vacuum, it wasn't a vacuum. As such, it was simply the fact that the wind drew the 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 the, the atmosphere of Ventru drew all the oxygen out. Hmm. Does okay. that make sense? Yep. One more question: Is the oxygen in the shuttle replenishing or no? Um, there's enough oxygen in this. There should be enough oxygen in the shuttle. Um, well, you wouldn't be able to do the entire platform, but well, certainly. The... Well, like if we have to come back and we have to cycle again. Oh yes, yeah, there, there, there's enough for three or four ago, three or four of those, okay. maybe more. But you couldn't do, you, you wouldn't, yeah, you, know, you, you wouldn't leave it open all the time, basically. No. So yes, the shuttle has compressed oxygen, like you know, but you, you couldn't do the entire platform. But I'm just concerned, like it. if we, you know, open yeah, yeah, yeah. the I, door I, I, to the, you know, if we're gonna. We're only well, going to have one yeah. open at a time, but if we're going to, the, well, those of us go going out to time. repair it are going to take all the oxygen. Yeah, so um, that's it. So if, if anyone's got breathe masks, apart from the four you've got, the people who aren't going out should probably go back to the shuttle yeah, and, seal the, and seal the outer door behind you. Yep. Yeah. It's just me. Well, I just think three of us are going, right? Yeah, Cerise, I think maybe you should stay behind. You don't have the strength for this. We've got to be linked in. We've got to be tied in. Yep, okay. The chances of you being drawn out, drawn out the holes by the Ventru winds is practically nil, unless you were to jump out there. All right? Okay. So don't worry about that per se. Um, and I'll go third anyways. All right. Oh, and by the way, oh, by the way, the gravity, it's about one and a quarter G. Just thought I'd mention that. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah. All right. So who's going out? Obviously you are, folk. Who else is going out? 
Jazz and Jazz. Trees. All right, three of you. Okay, that's fine. So I'm assuming Babu, Doc, and Cat are all retreating to the shuttle. Sounds about right. And Good. sealing themselves as such. Yep. All right. Uh, Before... Just doing a quick... Uh, do our chronicoms work? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit crackly. Um, that's probably due to the um, the atmospheric effects of Ventru. But mm -hmm. you should have some sort of comms across the entire platform um, cool. yep. depending on exactly where you are uh, and, and the rest of it um, it might be a bit it, 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 it certainly won't be five by five unless you're basically in the same room um, but um, it should it should should get no worse than about two by two well, and Kat, maybe you can see if you can hook to the station's computer system while we're doing our stuff. Uh, that would require some kind of interface, and then we haven't seen one yet. <laughs> yeah, but the shuttle, when it docked, may well have interfaced computers. Yep. Okay. All right, so if you three go back to the shuttle, and Cerise and Jazz and Voke head out into Area A2, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm also going to assume you guys are going to keep your mics open and just constant communication, yeah. yes? Yeah. yeah. thought as much. Right. Well, yeah, in mm -hmm. the in the background, uh, if Kat can get any more information about why the refueling's not working, she'll do that while she's passing time. All right. No worries. Uh, give, can you give me an operate computer role for that? Well, I'll get there and I'll do these guys and then come back to you, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So the... Three of you, three of you move out into the damaged um, A2 section. Um, if the engineer amongst you gives me a quick logic check, please. Okay. Whatever happened, uh, happened inside um, the corridor um, because the edges of the corridor are bent outwards like you would have if there was an explosion in the corridor that's blown outwards, as opposed to something striking the platform from outside. Okay. Um, it looks like the fuel oxygen line ruptured. Now, whether the fuel oxygen line ruptured and exploded and caused the damage, or something else happened and the fuel oxygen line got caught up in the damage, and that, by the way, cat is why the, what the malfunction is, there's no fuel coming through the yeah. fuel line because the fuel line's been ruptured. All right. Um, at the moment, the the this area of the platform is crossing uh, the crossing over the top of um, some of the um, uh, buoyancy bags. Looking up, you can see the bottom of the top buoyancy bag, and looking down, you can see the bottom the, the top of the bottom buoyancy bag, uh, which is holding the platform. Yeah, one of the part, one of the cells holding the platform up. Um, the only thing. Well, apart from the general framework, which you can't get to, but the only thing holding the the A1 and A2 together are two um, uh, uh, power cables, insulated power cables. There, those two lines crossing the gap. Other than that, there's basically a three meter a three meter gap all around in three in three dimensional space. All right. So if you had to guess, you'd say the fuel the fuel oxygen line exploded. Based on based on your engineering skills. Right. Um, at the far end, and I said it's, you've only got emergency lighting. And at the far end, there's a uh, there's an, uh, a, another door. Um, yep. Okay. So it's obvious that if you want to use if you want to use the shuttle, um, the fuel line's got to be repaired. Um, which means grabbing a section of pipe from somewhere and welding it in. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, so the two power cables are about half a metre apart um, and those power cables run under the floor or ran under the floor. Um, you could walk across them, I suppose. You'd be, it'd be, 
not too bad, not too hard. Um, you can always jump the gap. Um, maybe. Well, you said if you jump out the out the side. Oh, out the side. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, can I get can I get the technician, anyone with technician skill, to get uh, who's out there to give me a repair a repair machinery role? Not it's done. Us. I'll explain in a moment. Okay. Uh, both of you uh, note that um, some of the insulation on the power cables is damaged. Um, and if you were to um, touch the power cables, if there was power running through it, you'd probably get some sort of shock. High voltage power cables, I assume. High amp. High amp, yeah, high high enough. Um, yeah. So what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, look, repairing the fuel line should be easy if you can find the parts. And the parts basically you need are a welding kit, and we know we've got that because um, Vokes already said he had, and a piece of replacement pipe to fit in the to fit in the gap that you know you'd obviously have to cut away to get you know. Well, uh, stupid question, probably, but what about ion tape? Bonding no, tape? it's too big a gap. Okay. It's it, like there's there's a, a couple of feet of 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 pipe missing, at least, plus the bits that are bent and and black, and you have to cut those off. So you're probably looking at about a three to three and a half foot, about a metre, a little over a metre, of um of of replacement pipe you'd have to slot in there eventually. I've got a bunch of hoses. No. Wouldn't hold no, it, mate. The liquid oxygen's cold. The hose would freeze and shatter. Okay. Yeah, this should be repair stuff inside. We'll this deal with that be, later. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so do we want to... I don't think I have any anything to really so somebody had micro line so we want to find a place to anchor that well i bet and, micro line and run that out and and go across and mm -hmm. we should be able to jump across the gap it sounds like right or go on the wire and, and not touch the uh, uninsulated parts. I would do that last. Okay, if someone was to jump, what would that be? What kind of check? Don't think there's a jump skill. Probably strength. Did we lose Matt? Maybe. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, in the movement, on the movement, in the movement chapter, or in the movement page, which I've just pulled up. Uh, you've got running leap and standing leap. I don't think you've got 15 meters for a running leap. You don't. So you'd have to do a standing leap. Uh, standing leap is your movement rate, depending on your race. For a human, it's for a dralocyte, it's uh, three eighths of Two uh, three eighths. Two five for me. Mm. Um, for a human, it's half your movement rate. For a Vrusk, it's uh, five eighths your movement rate. 
Yeah, it's pretty bad for me. I can't even jump two meters. Jazz mm -hmm. can standing leap three. Um, so how 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 uh, wide was this hole? Well, it's roughly three meters. Ah, balls. Suriz, how far can you jump? Looking. What's your movement rate? Uh, 1.875 is my standing leap. Go, cool. your move, your movement rate must be shockingly bad. My movement rate is my walk per turn. Uh, oh, that must be vertical leap. That's your vertical leap, surely. You're standing, oh, yeah. you're standing, I, yeah. standing vault is 0. 0.75. Standing leap is 1.875. I don't know if those yeah. are right. So what's the modifier? The modifier for a, for a standing leap for you is 0. 0.625. 0. 0.625 times my walking turn. Right? No, times your movement rate. Hang on. So below, like for me, below my climb a turn and crawl a turn is a movement rate modifier. For me, that's, that's just three for me. So then you're three times six point two five. Yep, which would be one point eight seven five. Yep. There you go. So your movement rate's three. Your movement rate's three. In other words. Does movement rate modifier change with that strength? What? Nope. No, oh, well, it does. It, your movement rate's um, based on that. Let me find it for you. Because my uh, debts has gone up, so I don't know if my movement rate has also gone up. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, hang on a sec. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's been a while. Hang on a sec. Uh, yeah, your movement rate modifier is multiplied by the type of movement you're doing. All right. All rates are given in meters per turn uh, unless otherwise noted. So, uh, combat, 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 combat. Uh, no, that's not what I was after. Give me a second. That's what I'm after. Okay, your movement rate modifier is calculated as you add your strength and reaction speed scores together, divide by 20 and round down. Ah, uh, okay. So whatever your strength and reaction speed is, add them together and then divide the total by 20 and then round down. Yeah, it's mine's five, exactly five. So, so the dog oh, should actually be six. Oh, well, change it for him. Yeah, uh, because he sits the reaction speed, sits the strength. Mm -hmm. Huh. You said divide by 20 in the round down? Correct. So nothing's changed yet. Okay. I got yeah, you Yeah, you got a shockingly bad movement rate, with, um, um, Cerise. Uh, I got to I gotta spend four Wait. XP to to uh, get myself uh, one bonus one movement. <laughs> Dex and reaction speed divided no, strength. by 20. Strength. Strength and reaction speed. Oh, well, reaction those, are speed. The two that are, those are the two that I suck at. Yeah, I know. I just look, I'm looking at your sheet right now. So you're about 3 point, you're about 3.75, which rounds down to three, which is a pain. But that happens. Anywho, so yes, yeah, so that's that's the thing. That's the deal, guys. Yeah, so I mean, 
that means uh, that means no one is jumping across. Oh, Jazz might make it. Doc might make it. Uh, is there anything in the shuttle or on the maintenance bot? We can turn the maintenance bot loose on this. I don't know if he. I don't think he's going to have the program to repair this. No, he won't. Is there any? Is there any equipment on the shuttle? No nope. planks or boards or panels. Nope. nope. Only what you've. Only what you've already got with you. Well, what about stuff we can scavenge? Any locker pit doors? What about the doors from the lockers in A one? Well, none of them's big enough. N none of them's big enough for three meters, and there's only one. Well, we can pry off the locker door, and I can bond it to the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is we could build them what, together. Make a, pl make a plank. Make a plank yeah. to r jump off of. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could certainly do that if you wanted. You know, if okay, it's three me meters, a, if, if you get you half know. a meter. Yeah, well, you get well two meters, two and a bit meters. Yeah. Um, um, if you're going to take the if you're going to take the locker door out of locker door off out of A1, that'll be a repair machinery roll. Um, and then uh, to bond it, weld it, whatever, to the floor of the, uh, the floor of A2, the area of A2 above the cables. Um, again, it'd be another repair machinery roll. And that way, you only have a half a meter to jump. And anyway, you can pretty well jump that. Bow, bow. Yeah, I don't know if that's a technician or engineer. No, it's repair, technician repair. You can't get it off. Yeah, I can't get it off. What about you? Uh, anyone else got a technician skill? I'll try it. Oh, you got it off. And then I can take my laser welder or we can use... Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can get it to the floor. I know you've got the equipment. Yeah, there's uh, by the, bonding tape yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, I wouldn't use bonding tape. Not if you're going to walk out over there. Um, Kat, um, there's no interface from the shuttle computer into the compu into the computers of the station, I'm afraid. Kat? Am I on mute again, am I? No? Push uh, the talk, Kat. Yeah. There we go. Push the talk, Kat. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, I I, I had duck away. Um, what was that? No, I said I there's no there's there's no interface between the shuttle computer and the computer or computers on board the uh, the Jetson. Yeah, Jetson. All right. So uh, give me another tech repair repair roll um, vote to uh, bond to weld the door on to the floor. <sighs> nope. Nope. You're no good at that. But Cerise is. <laughs> Okay, you almost lose the door over the edge, um, but manage to manage to make sure it doesn't fall off. Um, you've got about a metre. You're about a metre short um, of the far side, um, only because you need to put enough uh, enough um, counter lever at this end to make yeah. sure the door doesn't topple. That's fine. You can jump the last bit. All right. So uh, what are you doing, guys? Um, now that the door's in place, what are the, what are the three of you doing? And what are the guys in the shuttle doing? Uh, I guess, uh, I guess if if the plan is for people to jump over and then see if they can find more of these suits, um, then Jazz will volunteer to jump over first, uh, as long as somebody tethers him, just in case he messes up. Yeah, uh, but he's he's got the best jump, so he may as well do the first go. The idea would be Jazz jumps over and then um, uh, tethers to the other side, and then we can throw the. Is this is this uh, cable good enough that we can throw it back and forth? Like if we wait it with somebody, can we throw oh, it back to the why, other? I don't see why not. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, what do I have to roll to do? And is that the plan? Uh, are we yeah, yeah. Oh, are, are us three yep. looking for suits? Okay, cool. Uh, you want a dex check for the jump? 
or is it strength? Uh, no, 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 well, it's half each. It's the other uh-huh. one too. Oh, I yeah, and I have an regular arrow. rope too. Okay, cool. Well, so, if you've got regular, if you've got regular rope, why don't you string one of them from the door to door or door to wall nearby, and use it as a guide, and then tether, and then use the other one as a tether. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Use the rope so as tether, going... the other one as a guide, because that one's longer, the micro line. Yeah, makes sense. The micro line's only very thin. It's it's about half the thickness of your, of your little pinky. Yep. But it's strong. It's like, like a skipping rope, a very strong skipping rope kind of thing. Yeah, or even thinner than that. Yep. Think Think more of a large electrical cable. You're probably yeah, closer yeah. to it. So you're going cool. over, are you, Jazz? Yep. All right. Well, it's only, what is it, five, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's only about 30 metres long, that corridor, in its entirety, mm-hmm. give or take. So you should have plenty of rope in that there. So you tie yep. one one end off to the, uh, to the uh, near the, the A1's door, and the other one, and then jump across, yeah? Yep. Give me the give me the jump rope, please. Uh, and that is the half of reaction speed and half of strength. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, the average of the two. Uh, cool. They're both the same. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You, no problem. Um, yeah. Um, and you make your way down the corridor, and at the far end of the corridor. Yeah. Um, you note that um, that's actually a security door, airlock, but still a security door at the far end. Yep. Um, and it's got a uh, where is it? I've lost it. Uh, it's got a um, it, it's obviously got some sort of lock on it. Um, as you're not a as you're not a technician, I can't tell you what type. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but there is a key panel there, so it's probably password protected. Yep. Uh, cool. Uh, hopefully the the radio works and they can chat to Cat. Yeah. Uh, or or Cerise can open it. Um, cool, cool. Uh, Jazz will find a place to tie this off. Yep. Uh, and then tell the others to come across. Okay. So as each of you, t- who's going second, who's going third, and as each of you do it, I'm assuming you're tethering yourself. Yeah. Yeah, they're just going to have to pull me across. <laughs> you, can't, you can't jump half a metre. It's half or a metre. No, I can, jump ha- I can jump a metre and a half. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway. Okay. So uh, give me that average of those two rolls, please, um, both of you. Uh, that's just the first 50 I found so fair enough all right well you bet you basically because it's only a short distance you basically both make it um what what's what's the automatic rifle attack business oh, it's oh that, that's for my jump that's my average which is 50 yeah. and I just Looked for the first thing that was 50. Fair enough. Um, it was only a meter, so it shouldn't be that hard to jump. So, that's, that's right. so the three of you are now on the, for want of a better, a better way of saying it, the southern side of the gap. Okay? Yep. Cool. Yep. So um, what do you want to do? Well, we're going to go down to the door at the other end. All right. Yeah, it is a security door. It does have a, uh, if you want to give me a quick, uh, any of the technicians want to give me a quick logic roll? Nope. God damn it. Well, we'll try the password. Hang on. Um, yeah, it's a level. It, it, yeah. 
Uh, Vogue, Vogue, it's a level three lock. Okay. All right. Uh, and you want to try the password. What password are you trying? The security door. 564388. Yep, that one. Okay. So you punch that in. Um, and the uh, the um, a little a little um, LED, a red LED uh, lights up for a second or two and then goes out. Push the door. Now the door is not moving. Uh, let's see what is this? This we'll try all the passwords. So next we'll try general, which is six four eight eight four three. A little red light, a little red LED lights up for a second or two, and then goes out. Main, which is nine eight four seven seven four. A little red LED lights up, and for a second or two, and then goes out. Life support nine five three four zero two. A little red LED lights up for a second, and then goes out. And the other two passwords, which is maintenance and chemical refining, refining. Uh, and a little red LED lights up for a second for each of them, and then goes out. Okay, well, great. Open locks. Yep. Uh, yes, uh, there's a, um, hang on, uh, yeah, um, there's a, uh, a little green LED lights up and the door goes click. Okay, open the door. Okay, open the door. And a little um, chronocom message to the guys back at the shuttle. Passwords aren't working. Who goes through the door first? I'm assuming that's you, Cerise, because you said it. Uh, yeah? I assume Jazz is going first. He's security. Oh, Jazz is it? Yeah, no, Jazz, yeah, that, Jazz, that makes Jazz sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, two laser shots uh, fly across the uh, the room beyond, uh, both of them missing jazz. Uh, there's also, a, 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 for want of a better way of saying it, a mechanical coughing sound, um, and a grenade uh, lands near jazz's feet. Um, and... Uh-huh. Uh, can you give me a reaction speed check, the three of you, please, because you're within range of this grenade. Now, Jazz is right. I don't think you are, Vogue. Uh, um, it's a tangler grenade goes off uh, around the doorway. Uh, Vogue, you're caught in the tangler grenade. Um, Cerise and Jazz are not. And I'll get initiatives off both of you, please. Oh, well, all three of you, but you're not doing much, both. Yeah. Sorry, just the first one. Yeah, hang on a sec. What dickheads? Tangling us while the air looks open, sucking all the oxygen out of this room. Mm. Um, it's an automated turret on the far side of the room. Uh. That one there, to be accurate. Um, Who puts the fences in a super secret platform? I don't know. Who puts the fences in a super secret platform? Jerks. Uh, and I'll get an, I'll get initiatives. Did you? Oh, you have rolled initiatives. Thank you. Was that thirteenth uh, view? Was it, Cerise? Yep. Um, and vote got a six. Or they don't. You're doing much, Mike. And uh, Jazz got a nine. Where are you, Jazz? There you are. And the turret got a... Uh, okay. So, Cerise, you're up. You are on, you are on the shuttle side of the Tangler Grenade um, area. But the door is open. And yes, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to pull out solve away. I've got a can of solve away. A couple of it, them. It, have you got it on your person? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, okay. You, you pull that out. Okay. Well, you can't apply it until the end, until next round. 
that takes you around to get it out because we're talking seconds here, yeah? Yep, and if I okay. can take cover behind the door. Uh, yeah, okay, no problem. Well, the door tends to be a bit of a sliding door, but that's all right. We can see we can get, you get, you get some cover, certainly. Um, is that your action? Yeah. Okay, you can end your turn when you're ready, please. Okay. Uh, Jazz, what are you doing? Because the turret's going to go at the same time. Uh, Jazz was going to... Uh, is this a turret that he would know about? Oh, he, from... he can see it. I mean, I've shown it to you, so... Yeah, yeah, but it's, is this a turret, like, from his security knowledge, is this something that he would... Is this a well-known turret that he would know sort of vulnerabilities of, or is this a, a, new, a totally new thing and he would have no idea? Oh, he could speculate. Um, he can see two laser, he can two, he can see two laser rifle barrels and a grenade launcher barrel on the turret. The turret has got full range coverage of the room, um, and most turrets are um, have got some sort of armor on it. Um, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, but um, it's nothing super special. In, you know, I mean, a turret's a turret's a turret, really. Um, so, so there's no cover there. Uh, the the only cover the only cover Cerise has got basically at the moment. Um, you'd probably got cover there if that's the blue arrow you've just drawn in, and possibly on the other side as well. But that one on the on the right hand side is probably the um, probably the best cover you've got. As in the the blue one that I drew. Yeah, the blue one you drew. Yeah. It, so underneath it probably isn't cover. It, it can shoot downwards. Well, it's up. It's up reasonably high. But I mean, as I said, um, it's got full coverage of the room, apart from maybe that one corner, and possibly, possibly, possibly that corner as well. Okay. So that's about uh, it. Uh, and I don't. Jet, and I don't yeah. think. And and, and there. And the corresponding other side, I don't think you, the, the, the turret couldn't reach either. But basically, any, anything in a 180-degree uh, hemisphere from the turret forward is probably, yeah. You know. Okay. Uh, well, if there's a chance that uh, being underneath it might be uh, might be uh, out of its range. No, as I said, it, 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 underneath it probably not. Behind it certainly, but if you're yeah, behind yeah. it. Then I can't hit it. Okay, you gotcha. can't hit it. Okay, uh, yeah. so he'll he'll go to the to the blue the blue triangle then, take some cover across there and uh, be aiming to. Uh, he hasn't moved that far. He, he could probably take a shot. That would be walk, right? Yeah. It's, oh, it's only it's two meters from square, so it's hardly even a walk. You could probably dive it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he'll do that and take a shot at the damn thing. Okay. Well, it's stationary, so it's going to yep. be easier to hit. Uh, this is normal. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are you what are we shooting with? A uh, laser rifle. Laser rifle. And what was it? It's usually set on five, isn't it, or ten? Ten. Okay. Okay. Um, well, um, that single shot, you've done a lot of damage to it. Um, it's um, sparking and smoking. Um, if there was any oxygen in the room, it might, might actually be burning, but it's not. So, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, and the turret. Uh, no. uh, it's firing at you, Jazz. Um, I'm taking your cover into account. Yeah, that one's going to hit. That first one's not. Uh, it's laser damage. Mm -hmm. And it's 18 points of laser damage. For a CU. And the grenade that spat at you is... Um, It's a smoke grenade. Um, smoke starts billowing up, um, and it'd be landing. Hang on, let me pull another pointer up. 
it'd be landing around about there-ish, the smoke grenade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we've got a lot of pointers on that map at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what the uh, that's what the uh, that's what that does. Uh, that's you. Uh, vote. What are you doing? I'm the the solver way. Has not been applied yet. Okay. Uh, but Cerise has and it what, out. Yeah, Cerise has got it out, ready to apply next round. Um, what are you guys back in the shuttle doing? Uh, the only one who can come is um the doc. The doc, yeah. The doc can do it. Well, the, no one's been hurt yet, so would the doc actually do it? No. No. Okay. In that case, give me some initiatives, please, guys, and we'll get the next round going. Uh, is is that uh, thing high enough up that a uh, a swing from a sonic sword would miss it? No, you'd, uh, it'd be an overhead. It'd be an overhead shot, but you'd certainly get to it. Okay. I think at this uh, point, and... Jazz, Jazz would be feeling that another 10 SEU might be a bit overkill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Jazz, you are, you are first. Um, it's two, four, it's only six metres. Call it seven metres. Uh, so you should be able to make it without too much trouble if you are going to charge it. Yeah. Um, what does he have his rifle on? Is it on? Does he have a... What do you mean? I'm just wondering whether he has a sling or something that means that if I drop it and pull out the sonic sword that it's okay. Um, I'd assume I he know. has a sling. If you find the rifle in his inventory... He should have a sling. I reckon it would I reckon it'd have a sling. Yeah, I mean, he's the yeah. military guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, yeah. He'll. He'll. If he can. If he can uh, get there and take a swing at it, uh, then he will do so. If he doesn't quite have enough, he'll stand behind it with his sonic sword, ready to attack next round. Um, okay. I'm well, ha you, I'm happy for you, you to, to do with you. Yeah. Uh, are you slinging? Are you slinging the rifle? Because if you sling the rifle, you won't get the attack in. If you drop the rifle, you can get the attack in. It's attached to a backpack, though. So mm, I, I know. <laughs> uh, so I don't think I can really... I will have to sling it, and then oh. I'll, I'll, I'll stand behind it. And right, so it which, side are you, which, which side are you running to? Uh, good question. Uh, I may as well go to the... It's not really a way to decide. Uh, probably the right hand, closer to the door. Oh, well, move, your, move that arrow, if you the head of that arrow down, if you want. Yeah. Jazz able to go uh, into battle frantic. Jazz? He hasn't yet, but he could if he wanted to. Um, in the meantime, I'll end your turn for you. Uh, yeah. The turret uh, now only has two targets, two viable targets. Uh, and Voke, you're going to get hit. Well, you're going to get shot at. Yeah, well... Maybe it hits the vines. I don't believe... Oh, no, you're stationary, so that last one does get you. So it's laser damage. Okay. It's 18 points of laser damage. Hmm. And the grenade lands right on top of you. And the grenade is a smoke grenade. Yay. It's the second smoke grenade gone off in the area. Cerise. Solve away. Solve away. Okay, uh, the tangler threads start to dissolve. Um, if you can, they may be dissolved enough, Voke, if you want to give me a strength check. You might better break free, otherwise you have to wait until the end of, and, and next turn to have an action. Nope. nope, you're not strong enough. Well, they haven't dissolved enough. Uh, initiatives, please, boys and girls. Whoa.
Someone's eager to go. Mm. Yeah, Alex Reese has a plan there, right? Is it a cunning plan? No, I'm sorry, that's another one. Ignore that. The uh, fancy animations for dice rolling don't work very well when Fantasy Grounds is running inside Virtual Box. Uh, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> okay, uh, so the turret. Oops, hang on. So the turret goes first, shooting at Cerise this time. Uh, first laser shot. Uh, that's definitely a hit. Second laser shot. That's also a hit. And the grenade also hits. And the grenade is a... Uh, what's that? Ah, right. So the first laser shot does... This is laser damage, obviously. Uh, does 26 points. Uh, the second laser shot does... 21 points, and I need um, Cerise and Voke to both roll me your current stamina or less as a dose grenade goes off. Don't we have the oxygen masks? Oh, yeah, we oh, do. Oh, you do too. Don't worry about it. You, you do too. Forgot about that. Well done. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, Cerise, you are, Cerise and Jazz both go simultaneously. So Cerise, what were you, what are you, what are you doing? Shoot it with my gyrojet rifle. Three shots. Right, okay, go for it. And Jazz, you're attacking melee, I take it? Yeah. Is that, is there, uh... uh -oh. and apparently I can't hit it. And now apparently you critically failed too. Also, is that room smoky uh -oh. by now? Um, it's, well, yeah, it is, but I mean, it's, um... It's, the smoke's filling out quite a bit, which is probably why Cerise missed it. You're okay. Do you want to give me that roll, mate, for the attack? Oh, wait a minute. There wouldn't be any smoke. You'd be getting sucked out the hole. Some of it's getting sucked out the hole. Um, uh, sonic sword attack. Uh, I'm just going to roll it without any modifiers. And... That, looks, that looks bad. <laughs> that looks very bad. Okay. Um, look, um, that's two critical failures. Uh, it's both bad for... Um, First of all, um, do do I do I cut one of Cerise's gyrojet bullets while it's mid flight and it explodes in my face? That would be so beautiful. Uh, not 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 quite. You you many you managed to cut yourself with your own sonic sword right as one of the gyrojet um, sh uh, shots hit you in the back. So roll a damage roll for yourself, please, including your strength. No, oh, you don't get strength with sonic sword. Nah. Or, or, no. nah. And you can roll me a damage roll for a single gyrojet right round, please. Um, Jesus. So you take 30 points of sonic sword damage and 13 points of gyrojet, which is kinetic damage. Yeah, so 30 you can't reduce, the 13 you can. Voke, you're up. Oh. And you're free. Yeah, I'll, can I charge it and hit it with the sonic sword? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. Please don't hit Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> only just, dude, only just. Give me some damage. Uh, okay, um, yes, uh, there's not the, the, you have hit the turret, you have damaged the turret, it is still operational. Hmm. So, which means I need initiatives of everybody for the for the next round, please. Uh, at this point, someone's screaming for Doc, I believe, <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, uh, fifty-five uh, stamina. Oof, that Sonic Sword really hurt. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You really don't want a critical fail on those rolls. Eleven for Jazz. Folk, did you want to give me that? Oh, you did. Sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it. Turrets on. Uh, 
Um, do you plan on going out there at all, Doc? Uh, yeah, he heard the cries for help, so he'd be going. All right, well, I need an issue off of you too, please. I'll leave him for the dock. Right. So the turret um, goes first, and all three of you are viable targets. So... Uh, that's Jazz at point blank range, which actually is a benefit to you because it makes it harder to hit with a rifle at point mm -hmm. blank range because it's technically melee. Uh, that one's good enough though. So that's um, 17 points of laser damage. Now the four. Yeah. Yep. The grenade. Uh, also manages to get you, and it's a uh, another dose grenade. So again, I don't think you have to worry about that at the moment, do you? No, which is no. good because 16 stamina, I wasn't liking my chances of passing <laughs> no. that. Um, Cerise and Jazz, uh, Cerise, Jazz and Doc, so Cerise first. That's two hits, so I'm in the damage. Jazz, you want to do what you're going to do, please? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's going to swing his sonic sword and not hit himself this time. Uh, uh, why the third one? Three, so you only hit twice. It should have been 3d10 each. Oh, fair enough. No, not for a pistol. I'm using my rifle. Oh, it says pistol on the chat box. That's why I said. I know. That's I rolled the wrong damage. You, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, roll, roll, roll low when I hit the turret. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Should die. And Doc, you're uh, you're. I'm going to move the map back. Um, so you're uh, cycling out through airlock A1, are you? Uh, yeah. That won't even open, will it? Have we closed well, A2? Well, you, you, you've got to close it to get the shuttle door open. Remember. It's an airlock. Yeah, the other yeah, one just... closes. Yeah, okay. That doesn't yeah, mess no, with right. the tether, right? No, no, it doesn't, mess, it doesn't okay. mess with the tether. The tether's clear of the doors. Um, so that's that. That's that. So that's end. That, that, so, Voke, what do you want to do? Um, Does it still? Well, it's 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 the heat of battle in the middle of in the middle of a round. I'm not going to tell you one way or the other. Okay, fine. It's I'll looking damaged though. Stab it. Okay, stab away. Now you managed to hit it, and uh, yeah, all right. Terrible. Um, yeah, the 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 turret stops moving. Yay. Um, Doc, I need you to make me that jump across the gap. Oh shit! I, I'm assuming you were tethered. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Doc, you're half swept out out the um, uh, well, four actually towards the gas bag below. You're hanging from the tether, um, um, in the in the and being buffeted by the um, the intense winds of Ventri, Venturi. Folk runs back to. Well, you and well, why? He's screaming on the cops. Ah, I fell out. <laughs> Is he screaming at the cops? Okay. I'm a pacifist. I'm not supposed to die like this. <laughs> All right. So you make it. So Voke, you make it back to the uh, uh, the bit. Uh, the dock is tethered on the far side uh, of the of the gap and hanging out in and with his literally with his ass in the breeze. Okay. Do I have to jump back, doing? I take it? You have to jump back if you want to get to that side, yes. What's everybody else doing, by the way? Okay. I'll, that's the uh, wrong character, but... I'll go help. I don't know what help I can be, but... Mm -hmm. That's the average, the 50. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I know. 
So you're going to jump back too, Cerise? I'm not going to jump back. I'll wait on this side. We have the tether line running between the two doors. To... Yeah. Yeah. Vocal yeah. start but pulling in the tether. Pulling him. Okay, that's a straight strength check, please, mate. Okay, you managed to haul the doc back on board. Doc, you take uh, seven points of, um, buff, of damage just buffeting in the breeze and against the, the frameworks and things like that. Uh, he will first aid so himself. Skin suits will help if you've got a skin suit. First aid. He's good. All right, let me get rid of these. Thanks. Okay. Um, and now, now, what are you guys doing? Going back to A three or what? Yeah, I would. Jazz is sitting in the corner crying, waiting for a medic. <laughs> Jazz is a medic. Don't forget. It's true, but he he realizes that he needs surgery, so you may as well wait for the professional. You're not even going to first aid yourself? That's true. I could do that. Watch this crit fail. No. <laughs> Ten points back, Jazz. And don't forget to knock off the bio court. Yeah. Uh, what's that? That's 26. Okay. Folk will now uh, come back. Mm-hmm. In the dock. Goes over the side again. Do I have to pull him back? You have to jump back first. <sighs> I swear to God, I'm just going to tether it from this side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate, no worries. Okay, you managed to jump back all right. No problem at all. Strength check to pull him in. Nope. Nope. You want to try again? Yep. Okay, you're getting back in this time. Um, you take a total of six more points of buffeting damage, Doc, as... Um, Voke in a, in expert, in expertly drags you back in. He's good again. Mm-hmm. No, don't get to knock off the bio court. Yep, this time he's jumping first. Oh, makes it look easy. This time. And Voke is now. Voke goes out. Voke goes out the bloody side. Okay, this is getting annoying. You're the one making the dice. Well, you're the one not making the dice roll. Okay, so now the doc is going to pull him in. And did, 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 doc, did doc jump back, did he? Yeah, that's the three on strength. Yeah, 57. Yeah, yeah, okay. Three, no, jump back. Oh, and that's pulling him back in. No, it doesn't succeed the first time. Doesn't succeed the second time. Gets it the third time. Uh, Voke, you take... 13 points of buffeting damage during that little exercise. It's... That's the first aid. Dab. Let me Don't update forget. the bio court and do the screens first. Mm -hmm. The suits. So, um, this is for you. Oh, you're not there, are you, Jess? As in, sorry, Dean. Okay. This time, Voke goes first. This would be funny. Okay. And Voke goes out the side again. Oh, I guess you know you don't. No, you no. Don't. Uh, I, 
No, I, 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 it's, it's, it's a bonus because it's only a half, it's only a meter or so. Well, then does the dark make it across? With that strength check, yeah. Assuming it's oh, my God. <laughs> no, or yes? Uh, huh? Okay, hang on. Let's back up a bit. Vote, you make that across. What is, full stop, new sentence, new paragraph. What is the average of strength, the uh, doc's strength and dexterity? 60. They're the same. Right, so doc makes it as well. So you're both on the southern side of the gap now. Yep. Now we can give Jazz surgery. Now you can give Jazz surgery. Okay. What does he need? Major, major or minor? I don't know. Dan, your, your dad's not there. Uh, your, dad went, your dad went off offline for a second. Oh, yeah. He's feeding. I'm not going to shout because my sister's trying to sleep on the other side of the wall. That's right. Uh, it, jazz is 24 points down, which well, means... Well, a, min a minor will give you 20 back, and you got a pretty good chance of success. We're going to do minor. Um, just, yeah, just... I just do a minor. <sighs> Lil. Nope, it's fine. It's a 96. Oh, it's a crit almost, fail. Yeah. yeah, it's almost a crit fail. So, yes, I, so Jazz gets 20 points back, and you've used an anesthetic and, a, and two bio courts. And Jess, Jess should be on minus four, on, on four wounds. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, minus four, on 46 stamina out of 50. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this looks like, this area looks like some sort of foyer, um, apart from a wrecked, um, uh, a wrecked uh, weapons, automatic weapons turret. Um, the place is pretty much <laughs> empty. There are a few lockers around. Did uh, Cerise go... Hunting in the turret for spare grenades? Uh, no, they're all gone. They're all wrecked. Uh. <laughs> um, I was waiting for someone to ask me that one. Um, there is a locker. There is, there is one in one of the lockers. Um, you managed to locate another four um, cold suits, chill suits, um, breathe masks, uh, belt packs, and the same as in the yeah. Huzzah! Uh, one for uh, each. One for yeah. each uh, race. I, uh, the Jazz, yeah, how heavy are these? If Jazz, can Jazz, like, pick up the human one and the Drellosite one and take it back? Oh, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty, I mean, they're like space blankets. They're, they're packed down pretty well. It's the yeah. belt packs with the heavy thing, would be the heaviest things, and the masks. Yeah. And the oxygen tanks. Yeah. I think you certainly carry it. I think everybody has belt packs anyway, so we'd be just using these belt packs as rechargers. Fair enough. Um, cool, cool. So you're gonna make you're gonna make the jump back across the across the hole. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nope. Can we take? The, hang on, um... hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need a dex check, please, mate. You managed to hold on to the suits, the masks, and the oxygen tanks. So Jazz is probably Jazz is now hanging outside the outside the platform, being buffeted by the winds. What he went back? Yeah. Yeah, he's taking the suits back to the other guys. Oh boy. Do That's we have your job, Volk? Actually, it's the Doc's job because he's better. Oh. Okay. Well, you're gonna jump back. Someone's got to jump back. Yeah, is it better? Because it's not Oh, no, as... no, no. But it's the... Hang on, where would you be tied to? No, you'd be tied to this side. You don't have to jump. You're just going to pull him in. Yeah. Pull him in, then. Strength check. Well, I... Yeah. Okay. Uh, three points of buffeting damage to Jazz. And if he's got a skin suit, you know. The best there. thing about now that you're is full. now I can get first, first aided to help full health. Nice. <laughs> Which you just did. All right. So um, you guys are on the southern side of the gap still. Yeah. Um, and Jazz is, te Jazz is the one that's tethered. Can I, like, put those suits into my backpack so there's no chance of losing them? Do you have a backpack on you, do you? Uh, he has the power 
backpack, which I believe has some storage space in it. No, it does not. It doesn't? It doesn't have no. webbing or it, well, it's got a bit of web. It, it's it's basically it's basically a battery with a battery with shoulder straps on. It's basically what it is. Yeah. Volk has a know, backpack. He'll take he'll take most of his stuff out, put it safely in A three, <laughs> so it doesn't blow away. Make sure it doesn't blow away, yeah. and give him his backpack. And Volk will stay and guard his stuff. All right. So, uh, um, making the jump. Uh huh. And this, you go out. You go out the side again. This is the worst. And take another three points of damage because it was a critical fail. What was that for, Pedro? Pulling him back in. Uh huh. Okay. In the process of being pulled in, you take another point of damage, which is four total. Or unless you've got a skin suit, in which case it's not. Yeah. You want to try again? <laughs> oh, we gotta have to. That time you make it. Yay! Cycle your way through A one. Cycle your way back into the shuttle. Uh huh. Cool. and Cat, you gonna put these on? Yeah. Yep. And this time, when you guys rope in, do it to the below. Yep. Do it to the the transit line. That way, we can pull you from either side. We can actually just put a rope on you and pull you across the rope. You don't uh, even have to jump. Well, yeah, you do because it's one point two five gravity. So if you just pull them, they're going to fall over the edge. It's not zero no, g. Remember, we have the line that runs from all the way down hallway A two. Yeah. So if oh, you're just. Going yeah, you know, tie yourself to the line, are you? Yeah, tie yourself to the line like you're doing a zip line. But yeah, yeah, okay. I just, I yeah, I'm with you now. All right. Well, you better give me a dex check for those who is tying them off. I guess that would be cat. Yep, there's just cat and babu there. Oh, and fucking fuck. <laughs> This is bullshit. <laughs> You're the one making the rolls. Uh, three points of damage, mate. Just as you uh, you get um, bashed against the walls and that. And one for one for Babu. You're okay, Babu. You didn't you didn't make the extra one point roll. The fuck is with these dice? <laughs> Look at look, look at I how know. many I haven't, 90s I haven't, and eight, 80s there are in that. I know. I haven't played with the dice roller for week for months. Okay, so you can't blame me. I haven't been rigging it. And somebody jumping back, or you tying yourself off and being pulled back? That would be jazz. Oh, that would be Babu. Somebody's got to make a roll yet. Uh, actually, or. You know, oh jump, wait, there's a locker. Off. There's there's a locker from the other suits, right? Yeah. I'm completing the bridge. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, give me a, give me a. Yeah, you got it off, and you welded it through. So you've now got a proper bridge. It's precarious. I'd still leave the I'd still leave the tether line up if I were you as a handrail, but yeah, the bridge is up now. So no more jumping, <laughs> unless you want to. Good. <laughs> Good thinking, Bat Boy. All right, so I'm assuming everybody moves into area A3. Yes. I take my backpack and back and put all my stuff and I'm in assuming, it. And I'm assuming you're closing the security door into A2. Yes. Yes. All right. Over the course of the next minute or so, um, your Toxigrad gauges register... Uh, the, the, the temperature has come up to minus 10 and the oxygen level is back to standard. There's still normal pressure and there's still no radiation. You're in, your atmos calc says the same thing. Atmos CAS says the same thing. Okay. What do you want to do, guys? Well, which door? Left or right? They didn't provide us with a map of the facility, did they? No, they did not. No. Oh, 
God, I hate them. <laughs> so you've got two airlock doors, one one to the east-ish and one to the southeast, uh, southwest-ish, give or take. For one of a better uh, way let's go east. You want to go east? Oh, and they're, yeah? they're not airlocks? No, they're airlock doors. Okay, do they have a little... Uh... Telltale. Read, yep. Reader thingy. Yep. Yep. Do they say uh, the same bullshit? Temperature yep. temperature minus ten. Oxygen standard. Pressure normal. Radiation nil. And they're both the same. Okay. And they're both the same. Okay, this time we're not all gonna stand grouped up near the door. Hang on yeah. a second. Just, just just give me a second. Just give me a second, please. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. Um, so, yes, airlock. Uh, you're, going through that, you're going through this airlock here, right? Is that right? That one? Yep. 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 Okay. Um, give me a second. I'll draw this in. Oopsie daisy. Uh, so, the airlock opens up onto a short two meter by two meter airlock room with an airlock door at the far end. Well, I guess we all go in. I do half. Half of us, okay. Probably Babu and Jazz and whoever else, maybe me for combat. Yeah, Jazz will go in. Okay. Well, you know, all six of you can fit if you wanted all six of you to go. Nah. So you're going to split the party up, are you? Well, the way we've been rolling, a single tangler grenade and we're all stuck. Possibly. If it wasn't an airlock door. Um, hmm. if, if the fight starts, uh, it's going to take a while to everybody to clear out and move in or whatever. Well, you um, should be aware that the rest of the party is, so if you move out, you could be cut off. Yeah, I, I think we need to s split the party here, guys. We can't be all vulnerable at once. All right. Some, somebody sabotaged the computer systems. We know that. Yeah. Do you? Do you know that? Password's not valid, and the automated defenses attacked us. And from that, you assume somebody's messed with the computer. Okay. And the sparring robot back at the base, right? The, I'm not saying one way that. I'm... Corrupted. Okay. All right. So what do you do? What are you doing, gentlemen? Oh, I so get it. It's a super airlock. It's a super yeah, smart it's a ape. Sape. Sape, a super ape. No, no, no. That's the big, big bad evil guy in this mod in oh, this okay. adventure. Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. If you say so. <gasps> We're looking for snail trails for Sapphire. Oh, that's just that's just racist. That is. It's, it's speciest. It's speciest. I have no problems with that. Yeah, so Babu, Jazz, and Ceres are in the airlock. All right. And are you cycling the airlock? Yes, Jazz stay back with his rifle. He's got range, and I'm up close and personal. Are you um? Are you are you cycling the airlock? Yes. Okay. Let me draw it in for you. That's what you see from the uh, from the doorway. Um, now, listen, it's cold in here, very cold. Okay. Uh, you can also hear um, the winds of Ventru uh, quite loud. Okay? So we'll, I'll radio the back. There's a hole in this room. 
But we'll, I'll move in. I assume right. everybody else will move in. So the room is the room is pretty clear of uh, pretty clear of small objects, uh, but it's a storage room, obviously. Um, yeah. Any pipes? Not that you can see. So assuming Babu is willing to move forward into the room. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah. 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 Um, so along one along one wall of the storage room is a rack. The rack has twenty slots in it. Two of these are empty. The others hold um, cryogenic tanks, the ones that you're supposed to fill, okay, or bring back, I should say. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the one with a catalyst in it, right? Uh, yeah, the biochems, the the crude yeah, biochemicals, the bio yeah, yeah, those ones, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a second rack um, containing um, standard two meter long pipes. Uh, there's 20 pipes each. Uh, uh, plant, plant, the 20 pipes, variety of diameters, two to 20 centimeters. Uh, there's also some girders, um, and there's also six lockers, uh, five of which are open and appear to be empty, except for some some miscellaneous material. Um, so yeah. So what do you want to do? Right, so you're going Babu to that. Who wants there. to move up to that point there? All right. And if well, necessary, take cover in that corner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that when they say they're all clear of the airlock, everyone else is going to start getting in. Um, that that door there, if you can see that, I don't know if you can or not, is open. Yep. And that seems there, there seems a bit of a, a bit of a draft that way. Okay. Nothing um, that would vaguely look threatening in the area. Anything looking threatening? Um, not really. So I think cat folk and Doc are going in the airlock now since everyone else is clear of it. Mm-hmm. And we're cycling through. And okay. Yep. Cycling through and... and as I said, it's it's cold in here. It's really cold. Nothing yep, jumps so... out and attacks the first three and we make it in? No, nothing attacks you. Yeah, finish looking at that room and looking into the door that's open. Okay. So from the doorway, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. That's what you can see. Ooh. And is there any more in the down here? Oh, sorry. Okay. So go ahead and um, I think it it looks like go ahead and uh, let's do we have another rope? I don't think we do, do we? I don't have rope. Okay. I need everybody. I need everybody to take a point of cold damage. Please. How cold is oh. it in here? Cold. So we have the chill suits, right? I know, but you have got the chill suits on. But I'm saying, even with the chill suits, I need everybody to take me a point of damage, please. Then we okay. the press button one. You press button one, do you? Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. Is everybody doing that? Yeah. I am. Okay. It's still cold. So I'll close that door. Um. What? Right. What? It, Sorry, go on. What is? What is my? Uh... Atmos cast say the temperature is in here at minus 120. Ah, cool. 
Oh, that cool. sounds like button two. <laughs> yeah, press button two. I'll press button two. Fair enough. And close the door. Yeah, get in there. I'm just gonna flip from one page to another on my on my notes here. Hang on. Um, I need you to make me okay. I need you to make me a strength check to close that door, mate. Because the wind is the wind, the outside atmosphere is pretty damn strong. Uh, I'm gonna let somebody. I'll, I'll try, but I'd let Babu. Wow. Uh, yeah, I see. Cerise having a problem with that. I'll help out. Mm-hmm. All right, you managed to get the door closed. Cat and immediately, and, and your yeah, the, the temperature's coming up slowly. Back to button one. Mm -hmm. So cool. you said there was a closed locker in here? Um, yeah, there are five open lockers and one closed locker. So check the closed and, locker. And uh, just to complete things, a rack of biochem uh, cylinders and a rack of standard repair repair material, including uh, pipes and girders. Um, so the closed locker, uh, opening it up, um, uh, there is a bioscanner inside. There's a type one para battery. Uh, there's a box uh, with grenades written on the side of it. And there are four laser pistols. What type Each. of grenades? Um, you're opening up the box, are you? Yeah. Uh, inside are five does and five tangler, tangler grenades. Okay. Uh, and there's four laser pistols, each with a, each with a clip attached, or uh, inserted. A power clip attached. Let's see. If you don't have tanglers, I'd take tanglers. Because we're still expecting Planet of the Apes, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. There's been no evidence of it so far. No, there hasn't. Um, but they work against Sathar too. The That's bio true. scanner, is that a biocas? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, biocas. Somebody should take that. Somebody who can use it. A biologist. Of which cat is one, aren't you? No. I think the doc is. No, nope, the doc's biologist. a chemist. Hmm, okay. Uh, so what are you planning on doing next Next or now, guys? So we've searched this room, right? No, no, you haven't searched the room. You've looked over okay. the room. So I don't think we want to detail search it, but if, if we've opened all the cabinets, right? Well, there was one closed cabinet and five open ones. You haven't checked the five open ones yet. Okay, so we checked those. All right, well, each one of those contains about 100 meters of high voltage uh, wire, a complete tech kit, a complete robo kit, and a complete power backpack fully charged. So five of each of those. Okay. Oh no, sorry. There's one of there's one of each of those. That's not that's per, that's for the five, not each. Sorry. Right. So it's a tech kit, a robo kit, a fully charged power backpack, and a hundred meters of uh, a coil of a hundred meters of high voltage wire. Uh, do we want to start repairs yet, or keep exploring? I think keep exploring. Well, you got thirty. You got thirty eight days before the um, snowball is going to be back in orbit. Close enough. Yep. Yeah. So you've got plenty of time up your sleeves. Yeah, I think, I think we'll leave that for later. That's fine. Okay. So you continue on to explore, are you? Yes. Because yep. it's only about 8 o'clock in the morning, give or take. I think so that's where, time to go this way. Which way is this way? The yellow arrow or the green arrow? The green, green arrow. arrow. Green arrow. All right. Hey, guys, we've been going for four hours. Do you want to... You, that's a good place to leave it. You, you want to continue on. It's up to you guys. But this is a this is our normal knockoff time. Has it been? Isn't it three hours? Oh, oh no, three it's three hours. Oh, no, been... Don't don't mind me. I'm going nuts in my old age. That's fine. We'll continue on. That's me going stupid. Don't mind me. Daylight savings will do that to you. It will. It will indeed. 
what else did we found uh, the four la loaded laser pistols, the grenades, the bio scanner, wire, backpack, robo kit, tech kit. That's it. Okay. Basically, what we need to fix the repairs so we can do the shuttle, um, mm -hmm. as well as 18 of the canisters that we can salvage. Yeah. Although some of them may be full, for all you know. Yeah. But we don't need to get them on the shuttle yet. No. All right. So um, you're going through that airlock, are you? Opening that airlock door? Yeah, it's three people first, the same three. Are you are you are yeah, you going to are you lady. are you going to check the telltales before or not? Yeah. On the door, they don't matter. Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, we can check the telltales, but I don't believe them. All right. Well, the temp the 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 the, the one on that door says uh, temperature minus ten, oxygen standard, pressure normal, radiation zero, or nil. Ah, uh, wow. Well. I mean, I don't believe yeah, them we, either, but you know, when there's a, if there happens to be an irregularity, eventually, maybe. Yeah, before we open the airlock door, we tell everybody to hang on and then hold on to something and then we'll open the airlock door. Okay. That's what you say. And the three of us, well, if we want, everybody can go, but otherwise, the three of us will go. Okay, so three or six. I don't mind one way or the other, guys. I just need to know. Do you want to do four and two? No. No. Three and six. Three or six? Six is fine. Six. Okay, six it is. And then again, we'll check the telltales. We don't believe them. Everybody will hold on to something and we'll open the other door. Right. Okay. Uh, the telltales again. Uh, temperature minus ten. Oxygen standard. Pressure standard or your normal. And radiation nil. Okay. Yep. Okay. I hate I hate these odd shaped bloody rooms. Yeah. I do like line of sight on Unity for that because you can just use it to reveal that crap easily enough. Yeah, the trouble is you've got to you've got to pre-do. Yep. You've got to pre-do the line of sights, which is a pain in the ass. Yep. Um. So standing in the far corner. Ah. Ah. That corner um, is a four-armed maintenance robot. Well, there's three um, different maintenance robots. Mm -hmm. That's um, the worry about there. The room is tidy, very tidy. Uh, looking around from the from the airlock doorway, nothing under twenty centimeters is is in size is visible. And can I get logic checks off everybody, please? This is going to be like that other time where we got stuffed down the garbage chute. Who got yeah. stuffed down the garbage? Oh, you... oh I rolled you one about? above on both. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So vote didn't make it. Jazz did. Babu did. Why has Jazz got twice? The second one's cat. Okay. Well, in that case, can I get Jazz, cat, and and Babu, Babu over to the private room, please? User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. Can't believe I rolled one above on both. <laughs> well, I want to shut down all the robots until we have time to properly go through them unless we need them we don't need them <laughs> all 
User joined your channel. And by the way, uh, this appears to be a common room. Okay. Okay. So this is user yeah. joined your channel. This is probably user joined your channel. This is probably the um, accommodation module. Um, okay. The cat's gonna say out loud. I have a sneaking suspicion that this maintenance cleaning robot is severely anal retentive and we need to be cautious. Uh, Good thing Volk's bigger than 20 centimeters. <laughs> uh, consider rolling a fragmentation grade aid into there and see if it cleans it up. Um, yeah, okay. Um, you could throw a tangler. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, cat. Yeah, uh, I don't like cat's chances of throwing a tangler grenade and not hitting the corridor. Um, Somebody else could throw a tangler. Well, you can roll it at it. Jazz has throw, I believe. So does the do. Yeah, I can do that. Have it get stuck and then send in Cerise to disable it. Well, I'll All go right. ahead and turn switch to my um, inertia. Turn off my switch to my uh, kinetic screen, my inertia screen, and I'll go mm -hmm. in and try to turn it off. Okay. Uh, well, while you're crossing the room, what's everybody else doing? Getting the popcorn out, seeing what happens. <laughs> That's terrible. I'll go Jazz into has his laser I'll well. go into the room and I'll turn on my inertia screen as well. All right. Um, well, you make it all the way across to the robot. Um, it's on, but it's not moving and it's not making any. It's not paying you any any attention. Okay. I will turn it. I will go to the back panel. Open the back panel and turn it off unless something happens. As you open the back panel, the robot, um, ac uh, well, not activates, but spins around and begins to attack you. Yep. I, need an I need an initiative roll, please. But before that, uh, it m misses uh, with its wild swing at you. So initiative rolls, please. Uh, what is the uh, initiative? Since I updated my reaction speed. Uh, it's your reaction speed divided by 10 rounded up, I think, from memory. Does that sound right? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, of course it is. But nothing's changed. Yeah, no, that's right. Because Voke is 45 reaction speed, but he has an initiative of plus 5. So. Yeah, that's what it would be. Yeah. Okay, so Reese, you've got first... Whoops. Do I have its panel off? Yeah, your panel's open, yeah. Then I'll deactivate it. All right. Give me an activate, deactivate roll because you are under stress being attacked. It's pretty well standard unless you stuff it up. No. Okay, good. Um, uh, the robot, uh, the robot, you deactivate the robot. Yep. And we are in um, skin suits from the Snowball Company, right? Yeah, I believe so. And you say I'm paranoid because I think somebody sabotaged the computers and robots. Well, hang on. This is the first time you've said, you've said anything about sabotaging the robots. Before, it was just sabotaging the computer. Well, it was the robot back at the other place. <laughs> the electronics. Oh, Why don't we just no, say the electronics? Uh, maybe. All right, so the, robots, the robot is deactivated. What do you want to do? Anything in, in particular? Search the room. See where it puts all the trash. Uh, the room is, as I said, um, pretty well um, 
devoid of anything 20 centimetres or lower. Um, um, six, by the way, on the map there is a computer terminal with a large vid screen. There you go, Kat. Um, uh, by the way, um, that vid screen, it's running children's cartoons backwards. Woohoo! Um, but uh, when you get close to the terminal, you can hear it's, it's actually playing um, a, the soundtrack to a teach yourself astrogation course at the same time as playing the cartoons backwards. See, told That's you, weird. Super Sentient Ape, because the ape likes watching cartoons. And it's trying to teach itself navigation, astro navigation. I'm right. My paranoia is uh, always right, Matt. There's, a, there's also a food dispensary uh, unit, which is near the um, foot of that yellow arrow. You can try that, Babu. I'm sure that's healthy. Yep. yep. Uh, what are you, what are you doing with the? Uh... So are there? Uh... Uh, one airlock and one, two, three other doors? Four other four, doors? Four other doors. Four doors and two airlock doors total. Um, uh, you, you try and operate the computer cat and all you get is the backwards running cartoons and the astrogation course. Nice. Audio. Um, it seems to be locked into some, it, it, the, the terminal seems to be locked into that program for some reason. Hmm. Let's start with that door. And, yeah, okay. And for the record, um, uh, you would know that that cartoons and audio would be, be controlled by a communications program if you're ever looking for them. Okay. Yeah. So which one? The green one or the yellow one? Green. The green one. I'm going to have to remove that because I need to get to the, get to the room. Uh, hang on. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Babu would just say over his shoulder that uh, I kind of think when you get to the bottom of that computer cab, see if you can get a little control back of it. Okay, um, that is a uh, washroom, shower, um, and water closet, if you know what I mean. Um, again, you got a um, steam bath in there? No, it does not. And no other way out, correct? No and cabinets, no other way out. No, no, no cabinets. Well, there's, yeah, there's, it's a bathroom, basically. Shower, yeah, just check real quick. Yeah. Yep, no, nothing, no, nothing of interest in there, apart from what I've already told you. Again, um, temperatures at minus 10, oxygen, pressure, and radiation are all at normal, or nil, as the case may be. That one, eh? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, these doors open pretty easily. Hang on. Do they open pretty easily? Uh, it's not a hatch, it's a door. Yeah, no, it's a door. So they just start, they just start, they slide into the walls, by the way. These ones. Oh, no, they don't. They open up, they swing open like you would expect a normal door to do. Um, it's a cabin. Um, it has a bed, a table, two chairs, and a locker. Oh, hang on. And I'm sorry, but it's locked. <laughs> so you don't know that yet. That's what I get for not reading far enough, afraid, far enough ahead. Oh, door B2 is locked? Yeah. It was locked. It had a level 2 lock on it. It's now, it was locked from the inside. So um, it's open. Um, um, in addition to the beds, the chairs, the locker, there are two freeze fields. Activated. Are they operational? Yeah, one is. The other one looks like, um, well, 
Um, are you going in to check or? Like, the the wood. Yeah. like there's someone I mean, in the they, freeze field? Do they have somebody in them? Yes, they do. Uh, both three freeze field. Um, um, one of them uh, is connected to a wall socket, a power wall socket. The other one is connected to a power backpack. Um, the one with the power backpack is um, has a human female in it. Uh, the one the one connected to the wall has a male Yazirian in it. And you said one's operational and one's not. Female. I didn't human. say that. Any ID tags on them? Uh, well, no, because you have to open the freeze field to get to them. Uh, no yeah. outside label. This is Bob. No, no outside label. This is Bob. Well, a Doc, human female would ho be. Ho 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 hold up, Doc. Can you give me a quick um, diagnostic on both of them, please? You say human female. Human female, male Yazirian. Uh The male Yazirian appears to be dead, even though the freeze field is 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 activated. Okay. Well, the uh... female. The female um, one um, appears to be in perfect health. Although, can I get a, uh, well, a spot check off somebody, please? The power backpack uh, connected to the freeze field only has three SEU remaining. Is that one per hour? It's one per ten hours. She's got thirty hours left before she before the freeze field deactivates and she dies, unless you bring her out of it. And I don't think you've got the got the skills to do that uh, and the facilities to do that here. But she looks perfectly fine. She looks perfectly fine. Her di the diagnostic yeah. is she's perfectly fine too. That's right. Yeah, we don't need to bring her out now. We just need to replace the backpack in the next twenty to thirty hours. Is... I would not right now trust the wall outlet. <laughs> yeah, uh, can, can we... we move him to the sh shuttle? After can you move him to the, the shuttle? shuttle? You, yeah, you could move him to the shuttle, but okay. you still need to hook up. You still need to hook up a power a power backpack. There wouldn't be enough power in the shuttle to. There wouldn't. There, there's no power socket in the shuttle to be able to power one. You'd have to power it by a backpack, or belt pack, or or something like that. There's another backpack in in the other room, F1. Yeah. What if we, uh, so the power socket, if we plug, can we test it to see if it's actually working or not? Well, no, well, because when we walk out of the room, who the computer turns it off and kills the person in it. Don't worry about it. We, we have 38 days to deal with that. Okay. You've got, you've, you, you have a morbid, a morbid sense of, a morbid sense of the macabre. <laughs> Dan? Hal, I think you're overreacting. I think it's a project of our development. If I could do that voice better. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, so um, so you're going to leave these three fields alone? Swap the power. Yeah, for now. You're going to swap the power over, are you? Well, in a little bit. No. Don't plug it into the wall. No, swap the... Well, in, 30, in 20 hours, we can come back and or 10 hours we can come back and check right yeah okay that's cool all right i just want to know what you do. i just want to know i want to know what you guys are doing you've answered that question thank you very much um so the locker in this room is closed but there's not that does not appear to be locked open it up okay um it's personal effects um you would say the you would say that they are yazirian personal effects um clothes there's a few mementos. Uh, there's a carefully labelled set of ore samples, for etc. For example, uh, there's also a geo scan, a geo cas, geo scanner, geo cas, and a 10 metre roll of insulated wire. There is no diary or log that you can see. Sorry, this was. Anybody what kind need of a geo cas? Yeah, geo cas, geo scanner, geo cas. I mean, I think both the doc and the and cat could use it. Uh, I'm not sure well, that we have a yeah. 
you know, there's no reason why you can't carry it and share it at the moment. Yeah. For yeah. example, um, somebody was going to say something about trying to identify the the two people before yeah. I had to cut them off. Well, yeah. the human Any female idea? name tags or anything on the stuff in the locker. Nothing in the locker. Um, although one of the mementos is a is a photograph. Uh, it's probably a it's a, it's a photo of the Yazirian, but there's no identification on the photo. It's just a photo or hollow photo, hologram, hollow you know cube. Well, the human female's oh. from the beta team, and she's the computer op. She's the computer operative because oh, there's only like one that. human female out of both teams. There's two male Yazirians, though. A safe hand. They're both safe handlers, actually. Yeah, it we don't, it doesn't matter who they are right now. I mean, no. I get a uh, clarification on cast the swallower. On what? The safe handler Yazirian male who is actually also working on the money spider. Hang on a sec. Uh, hang on, wrong one. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. The team, the team list. What about it? Well, the team list. The uh, beta safe handler is also listed as uh, serves aboard the money spider. Yep, quite probably. Was he on the money spider when we left? As far as you're aware. So that's probably not him then. So then that would mean that someone. Which, te which team on, went down? Sorry, just give me a second. Well, the human needs the human's been in there, has been in the freeze field for. Oh, uh, sorry, um, sorry, I miss, I've gone and misled you. My apologies. The Azerian's female and the and the human's male. I got them around the wrong way. Okay, so okay. then they're from the Alpha. Leader. That was my fault. Sorry about that. Uh, that's fine. And the Yazirian is definitely the one that's dead. The Yazirian, according to the doc, the Yazirian is dead. Okay. And according to the doc, the human male is alive. Which team was the one that went in when the things went wrong? Uh, a team of volunteers. But some of them were from one of the Jetson teams. Yeah, yeah. Some of them were from. So well, which one well. was on station at the time? At the, the, the which one? Which team have you got in front of you? As far as you're aware, it's Team Alpha. Well, no. So th there was one team on station on the platform when things went wrong, and then volunteers went in. Yeah. N but it wasn't the not the entirety of the other team that wasn't on the platform didn't go. There were some people still there, I believe. Yes. So, which one, that means we should know which one was down on station. Down on, down on the platform when it, when, the, when, it, when it went offline? Yeah. Yes. That's Team Alpha. Okay, so Team Alpha should have all four people here. Yes. And Team Beta is going to have a, some. Some. Yeah. Because don't forget, in addition to Team Alpha and Team Beta, there was the crew of the, of the Money Spider itself. So they've been, the, the human male has been in a freeze field for 18 days? Uh, 19 and a half days. 97 units, 970 hours divided by 20. Oh, it's 97 units. I thought it was 50. No, it's 97. So, so 40 days. 970 hours, 40 days. Wait, right? Yeah, that's 40 what days. The that's what the calculation is. So, and how long did we wait? How long, what do you mean, how long did you when wait? We, when we got there, how long did we have to wait before they sent us in? Uh, the next day. Okay, so, doesn't really matter. So, yeah. this was... They went in a freeze field 
one cycle before, except the team that went in to rescue them didn't go in during one of the cycles. So they don't even know what happened to them. No, they don't know what happened with them. And they didn't go into one of the cycles. They, they, the rescue mission you're talking about. Yeah, the rescue mission didn't go during one of the 38-day rota rotations. So they... No, they were, on, they, were on an, they were on the outbound. They were, the snowball was on its outbound leg when the, emergency, when, the, when, the, when the rescue mission went in. Yeah. Which was a dangerous, dangerous thing to do anyway because it's a lot, a lot further distance to go. Okay. I think uh, Gold Arrow says I should be looking at that door. Sorry, say again. Where are the Gold Arrows? Oh, you're going to the next. We're going to the next cabin, are we? Yeah. Okay. So you finish with a, you finish with a you finish with that. Okay. All right. No, that's all right. So uh, this cabin. The only thing that I missed personally is, did the doc figure out why the Zirian died? No, he hasn't looked yet. He has to do an autopsy for that. That's well, what I figured a, to do. Yeah. Um, you could do an autopsy on the body at some stage if you wanted. Eventually. Are you doing that now? Or you, you, eventually. Okay. Um, this door is slightly ajar, actually. Um, like the common room, there's nothing smaller than 20 centimeters in this room. Um, again, a bed, two chairs, table, and a locker. Uh, the locker has a lock on it. Now, by the way, are you guys still using your breathing mask and using up all that oxygen, or are you using the station's oxygen? Station. That's what I figured. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and open the lock on the locker. All right. Well, there's nothing in the room from what I've already, apart from what I've already told you. Um, you managed to get the locker open, uh, unlocked, I should say. Um, um, yeah. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm assuming you're opening the locker door. Yep. Right. I need everybody to give me a reaction speed check as a dose grenade, live dose grenade um, goes off. It was a simple trap, but it was a trap. Uh, those who don't roll under their current stamina um, uh, go unconscious. If we missed our reaction speed. No, you got no chance because it's an enclosed space. There's no way you're going to get out in time. It's not a combat deal. It's, you know, I mean, these things have got a three meter radius and it's only six, four meters across. Both so of my everybody's, guys are getting, fine. everybody's getting caught. Uh, now, of course, if you have a stim dose or something like that, which will keep you, a lot, keep you awake, um, then that also will keep you awake. <laughs> Yeah, my body comp gives me a stem dose. I'm going to have to refill uh -huh. that. Yeah, you will. Therese hasn't made it up. Pull her out. To my body comp is a stem dose. Let Doc slap her if he needs to. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one that missed. That's okay. Anything else in the locker? Uh, yeah, there is. Just give me a second. I'm just, just reading ahead, making sure I'm not, I'm not missing anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, right. Um, the locker um, appears to contain personal effects. Um, there's a dictaphone, or the equivalent thereof. Um, yeah. That's basically it, apart from a couple of personal items. What's a pictophone? A dic dictaphone. 
a tape recorder, effectively. Okay. So let's listen to it. Okay. Um, it uh, contains, um, it's basically a letter from, um, hang on a sec. Uh, it's a female Rusk's voice. Um, it's an unfinished letter, basically, to um, a friend. Um, it, most of it is personal matters. Um, but right at the end, you hear the following. And I'm not going to do the voice, so don't ask me to. Um, you wouldn't believe the kind of things that have been happening on this old bucket of bolts uh, the, in the past few days. It's really weird. Anyway, I've got it all on computer file and I'll stick it under the old man's nose when we get back up. Okay, no computer chips anywhere? Nope. I told yep. you. Told you what? <laughs> Somebody programmed how. Daisy, Daisy. I'm Next. scared, Dave. <laughs> yes, Dave, that was it. I'm scared, Dave. Actually, I only watched that about two weeks ago, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh oh. He was prepping, guys. I was not <laughs> prepping. I was just happily watching something on TV. On uh, uh, I've got on computer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, so after the rescue team, how long was it? It was the next rotation that we went in, right? Uh yeah, I'd have to look it up. Are you really interested? Because I'll look it up if you need. I'm just to. making timeline notes. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, where are we? I, I'm just trying to get the exact time of when she went in the human when they went into the freeze fields 960 hours ago yeah no, i know no. but Sorry, what events no, no, no. took it's, place it's, um it's not it's twice that it's twice that 900 it's yeah um let me think hang on um you're on it's day 48 days it was 40 days no it's 20 hours per day in star frontiers yeah, it's right oh it is yeah yes Oh, then 48 and a half, yep. Uh, so you arrived three days ago at the at Snowball. Four days ago at Snowball. Um, and the rescue team set off 32 days ago. So the... Um, the... The... The communications was lost about 33 days ago. All right. And that was five days after change of shift, last change of shift. Okay. So change of shift 38 days ago, because, you know, that's what it would be. Um, 38 days ago. Um, communications was lost five days after that the rescue mission set off the to set off the day after that and yeah does that make sense uh, oh pardon me yep and right. then we left the day four days after we arrived you left four days after you arrived okay. four days ago you arrived four days ago at snowball so if today's day one for example Right, you arrived at Snowball minus day four. Shift change was minus 38. Yeah, I've got minus 38, minus yeah. 33, minus 32. Zero is our yeah. arrival at yeah. Snowball. Plus four is us at the station, at the platform. Right, okay. However you, however you want to do it, it's up to you. That's what it is. Now, cabin B4. Um, again, bed, two chairs, table, locker. There's also uh, a safe lying on the bed. Check it for bot traps if I can. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me finish. Um, the safe looks up at you as the door opens, sees Jazz, 
Uh, the shape's about one and a half metres tall, by the way. It appears to be a juvenile, a uh, young adult. Um, no, sa not safe, sape. <laughs> um, sees Jazz and runs towards Jazz with a um, uh, an imploring look on its face. You going to do anything, Jazz? Uh, Jazz will do it, do his best to uh, make like a calming signal. Like, and, cause... and the and the shape wraps itself around you and clings to you, and that's the best way of saying it: cling. And it, it's whimpering slightly. Uh... Uh, quite possibly, quite, quite, quite possibly, um, Cerise. Folk whispers, I think it thinks you're one of its handlers. One yeah. of the safe handlers, since they were both male Uzerians. And we well, know there nothing. Is, there, there, oh. is a, there is quite a resemblance in terms of general physiology between the sapes and Uzerians. I mean, Uzerians are nicknamed monkeys, for example. Yeah. Uh, Jazz will do his best to, like... Because the, the, the sapes... There was a. We didn't actually upload the, the. There was a Polyvox module that you could talk to them with, right? And we no, didn't. You, no, no. As far as you're aware, they they'll just they'll they'll respond to to regular, um, Pangal. As far as you're aware. Just before we go on, bag um, oh got it. Damn it, Babu. Can I have you over in the private room for a second? User left your channel. User left your channel. Now everyone gets really loud. Yeah, is that because Matt leaves? Yeah, he's a the, he's got a priority speaker. I have to turn my volume down by half. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I think we should probably get rid of that. That way I don't have everybody at 20 decibels because they're really quiet. Because his mic is always on, so everyone's always quiet. Huh. Yeah, so I have uh, timeline notes in the notes, if you want to look at that. Not right now. When we have more information. Oh, I forgot to. So 48 and a half days. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Since uh, Jazz is kind of busy right now with his mommy role, <laughs> yeah. I want to motion you guys over and I go, uh, he's not really acting. The safe is not acting in a very uh, clinically mature way. Um, I'm thinking if I can kind of talk with it, I might be able to, uh, like, do some of my psychopathology on it and maybe figure out what's, why it's like this. Lie on this couch and tell me about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you hate your mother? Yes. 
Yeah. Well, if if Jazz hears that, he will uh, kind of pat the sape on the head and uh, beckon to Babu and say, friend, uh, and invite Babu to strike up yeah. a conversation. Okay, well, the sape... Do want to do this because something could still go wrong, especially the way I roll. <laughs> That's metagaming. Um, the sape, uh, the young sape, uh, looks dubiously at at um, uh, the drill at you, Babu. Um, it's acting like, almost like a, a, a shy three year old, a uh, human three year old would, or shy three year old Yazirian would. Um, it's definitely it's definitely clinging clinging to you, Jazz. And it's looking very warily at most of the others, especially Cerise, Voke, and Babu. It seems reasonably okay uh, with Doc and Cat, um, but still, still, you know, like peers out from behind Jazz when she's when when it looks at at, at everybody. Yeah, Voke leaves the room. Okay. I go. I don't know. I run calculations on whatever. On <laughs> the, what is life? What is life? 42. Yep, I'll go run calculations on what is life in one of the other mm -hmm. rooms. All right. Okay, so you're going to do some psycho psychopathology on this, um, on this young sape, are you? Yeah, that's where okay. I want to get to. All right, Jazz, I'm assuming you and the Sape are going to sit on the bunk? Yep. I wonder whether the Sape is probably more comfortable in front of its cartoons. But uh, let's sit on the bunk to start well, you take it, you can take it out in front of the cartoons if you want. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably, try the bunk. Probably, it'll probably be a distraction from the psycho the yeah, psychopathology. Yeah, yeah, on the, on the bunk, it's fine. All right. Um, anyone else staying in the room? Or is everybody else leaving? Cat may as well leave. Uh, no, I'd like need to uh, add. Jazz to stay, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jazz, jazz, will stay. All right. I guess the All right, well, doc should stay. Possibly, yeah, if you want. Okay, so oh. like empathy gives me a general impression of the mood or intention of individuals. Yeah. Could that also be used to? Kinda uh, hear or reflect back the uh, feelings it has, so that it feels more comfortable. Well, that's part of the psycho the psychopathology role, anyway, mate. Oh, okay. Okay. And don't forget, your lie detection gives you a bonus to your empathy, I believe. That's for empathy, I believe. Yeah. 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 As I said, all right. Well, when you're ready, give me a roll, and uh, this is going. This takes about an hour or more of of gently talking and and reassuring, and from both you and Jazz and the Doc, um, you know, keeping it calm, whatever else. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. After about an hour, um, you've managed to to bring the state out of its childlike phase back to its its normal um, young adult mentality. So that's a success, by the way. Um, oh, that was very good, yes. A very good. Um, the the sape's been cut off from its... You, you managed to gather from the conversation. It can, you know, it, it's not real... It's pigeon speech, but you basically get the idea that... Um, it's been cut off from its fellows and being all alone it, it reverted obviously it's it's reverted back to a childlike state and when it saw when it saw the closest thing to itself i.e jazz the azerian it was um it that's why it reacted like a, a small child would that had been left alone or abandoned um so yeah does that help at all anyway yeah that helps so um, while it's quite fond of jazz um, in terms of um, it's no longer clinging to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, and from what you gather, Babu, it's back to its normal, pretty much normal self um, in terms of, of, of that. So it can be ordered about like any other shape um, if you wanted. I would like to highly suggest that we let Jazz do that since both safe handlers for Yazir and it might actually have a better affinity to oh, take yeah, orders from. Yeah, it certainly does. The way it reacted as a child certainly gave you that, that impression. So, yeah. So, it's still, it, it's not wary of Cerise and Voke and you, Babu, that it, like it once was, uh, but it certainly favours Jazz over everybody else. Okay? Um, yep, for me. So well done. Uh, good thing you put that. Um, good thing you put your skill up, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. So yeah. So what do you guys want to do now? You still haven't. You still haven't searched um, uh, room four. Room B four. Or cabin B four. Yeah, we'll search that one then. Um, basically, there's not much to it. There are no knickknacks in or anything else like that in the locker. Um, the locker's empty. Um, so yeah. Oh, by the way, didn't was somebody checking out the food dispensary? The food dispenser at one stage. Uh, no, I was yeah, joking no that Bab should uh, go eat it and, and trust the food. <laughs> okay. Well, are you going to check out the food dispenser just because we're there? It would be a good idea to make sure that it. It has 30 day, 38 days of food. <laughs> we got an hour. We've got an hour before what? Oh, you've got an hour to do it. Yeah. Um, look, um, it seems to be okay. Um, 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 are you asking it to serve you something? Sure. What, what would you like? I mean, it's, a, it's basically... It's not quite like the Star Trek um, tea Earl Grey hot, but it's not far from that either. Folk shouts out, chocolate milkshake. Okay. Um, um, the Well, I'm assuming you're, you're, you're punching that into the computer as opposed to talking it, punching it into the panel as opposed to saying it, but yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, you get um, uh, a coffee mug uh, with liquid in it. I will hand it to Voke. Voke, you have a coffee mug with liquid in it. The liquid is clear. 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 The toxic rad. It's a new type of chalk. Yeah. <laughs> is it a yum? <laughs> toxic rat. The toxic. The toxic rat. Uh, well, um, ice. Um, uh, uh, ice crystals are starting to form in this liquid because it's minus ten degrees Celsius, which is something like minus forty-four. 45 Fahrenheit. Uh, no, it's not minus it 45 be. Fahrenheit. It'd be closer to... Um, uh, what's freezing in Fahrenheit? 32, isn't it? 32. It'd be closer to about 10, 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, um, if it doesn't work, that means we have to fix it. And if it doesn't work, then we're going to starve here. So... Well, well you, don't know what, you don't know what... You, um, well, it's... Uh, it was... It's tepid... Very tepid water. In fact, there's ice cubes starting to form in it. It's uh, ice crystals starting to form in it because it's so cold. So yeah, what okay, about so... the toxic rad gauge? Oh, it's it, same as normal. Uh, minus ten temperature, pressure, radiation, and oxygen all 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 a okay. All right, so it can give us water. Water's good. Um, uh, is there like a basic food dish that is in the menu? It's pretty much anything you want, really. Within, I mean, yeah, um, lobster tail in Bernays sauce, I think it's going to be a bit hard for it, but pretty much anything else is, you know what I mean? Except you want a steak? milkshakes, apparently. Uh, you, want a, you want a steak, you want you want lamb, you want chicken, cat, you want yeah, whatever. Cat would take a very standard dish that you'd probably find anywhere and just ask for that, like a simple dish. See well, if what, can sim do that. what simple dish would you like? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what is in this law. 
What bread. People Ask for bread. Oh, no. Well, basically, whatever you think of now. As I said, yeah, whatever you standard meal now. You want soup. You want roast beef. You want whatever. Yeah. I, want, I want a bowl. What a bowl of curry. Bowl curry of curry and rice. Bowl yeah. of curry and rice. Okay. Um. After a few, after thirty odd seconds, as the machine hums, um, a bit like a microwave actually. Um. Um. Uh, there's it's a, a, a low ding, and um, you can open the door and grab what you want if you want. All right, I'll grab it. Okay, there's a plate. Um, it appears to be smoked fish, and there's a reddish um, jelly-like sauce um, beside the smoke on the plate beside the smoked fish. Wow. All right, so we have a mystery meat dispensing machine. <laughs> no, oh. it looks like it looks like smoke. It looks like smoked fish. Okay. Smoked haddock. Yeah. Uh, and with this with this reddish sauce, whatever this reddish sauce is, jelly-like sauce is. Yeah, okay. You have to you have to taste it to find out. And by the way, the toxirad gauge is not not going off, so it's perfectly edible. Well, it's uh, perfectly non toxic anyway. Ah, uh, cat will eat it. Let's see what the happens. Fish or the the fish or the sauce or both. Uh, it should do the whole thing. Let's okay. See what happens. Well, it's it's raspberry sauce and it's smoked haddock. All right. Well, it gave us some food that was edible. That's that's a plus. Didn't give us what we asked for, but oh, uh, th that'll be fine. I'll ask well, for a roll. On. Go on. Roll a sourdough bread. Okay. Uh, again, thirty seconds or so of, of quiet humming, and then a, a low ding. And you open the door. Yep. It's uh, smoked fish with raspberry sauce. <sighs> well, looks like we got our answer. We got. We can ask it for food and water. That's that's pretty good. Fish, uh, raspberry oh, sauce, uh, and water. I'll count that as a win. <laughs> You'll count it as a win. Um, by the way, Kat, can you give me a quick logic roll, please? Cat uh, logic. Um, again, you strongly suspect um, that um, it's the software of the system, and that would be under... Um, Probably the life, it, well, it's food, so it'd be the life support software is playing, yeah. Like, looks like. Yeah. Cool. We got to find this computer and not fail the computer rolls. <laughs> yeah, probably. So, yeah. Um, so, what do you guys want to do? You have a safe, you have a robot, and you have yourselves. Uh, did we get any information from the SAPE about how he was cut off from the rest of his people? No, no, just that he, just that he, he couldn't get back to them. He went, uh, apparently, apparently, from what you gather, and this is not word for word because it, the language, the language barrier is a lot, a lot tougher than, than this, but more or less he went exploring, looking for food mm -hmm. and got cut off somehow. From the okay. from his from the fellows from his fellows, uh, but he in no way appears threatening to you towards you guys. Yeah. Although he's, as I said, he he seems to favour Jazz more than anyone else. Jazz will ask him, "We're going to search the rest of the ship. Do you want to come with us and help? Maybe find your your people." Uh, the problem that I have is that we won't have an air suit that can fit this guy a breathing suit mm. uh, you actually you actually do Ooh. the the second Yazirian suit from area a3 would okay. probably fit in but one getting him to wear it that's going to be a problem i think yeah. and more importantly does he really need to because he's obviously got this far without one so true True, true, true. Yeah, all right. I'm just paranoid about further holes. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah, no, I can see why. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. But at least, okay, so you've got food, you've got somewhere to sleep, um, uh, you've got a washroom, and so you can grab mm -hmm. a shower and that if and when you want, and you've got the computer terminal all, all here in the common room. Um, so at least you've got a base of operations, I suppose. And you've got that repair material across A3 and F1. 
it's already abundantly better than Volteris. <laughs> yeah, you haven't got you haven't got sand for starters. Yeah, haven't got sand in your jocks. No, you have not found any any extra progress in your meaning of life apart from the number forty two. Um, what do you guys guys want to do? Uh, I mean, I think we're going to keep going, but is this a good place to stop for the night? Or well, time wise, it is real time wise, it is. But it's only about ten, eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. With all the, you know, I'm just letting you know. Um, but yeah, it's good. It is a good place to leave it because we are at the four hour mark. Mm -hmm. You want to leave it there, guys? Yeah, it feels like a good place too. Yeah, right. that'll work. All right. In that case, thanks for playing, everyone. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, we'll see you all in two weeks' time. If you want to play those credits, go, uh, please, Ryan, and we'll uh, we'll see everybody in a couple of weeks. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>